Snail mail. Yo, what up, boys? Hello, hello. Yo, yo, welcome back to Mogul Mail. How is everybody doing? Yo, yo, yo. Two minutes late. That's the Mogul Mail guarantee is we are max three minutes late and we will never delay ever. Around where I'm from, we call that shit snail mail. I have this Roshi sticker, but I can't get it. I don't even know where I got this, to be honest. Oh, there we go. I'll be rocking the Roshi. You're streaming on my birthday? Happy birthday! Goddamn. Chat, I am wearing a large shirt, and I think this shit is small. I, I don't know. I think they scammed me with the labeling of this. Because I am filling this boy out. The subathon's literally on my birthday. That's impossible because it's on three days. Why do you lie to me? I guess that's all I want to know is why do you lie to me? It's probably a European shirt, yeah. Me with my clothes during the wash. No, if you go to Europe, I swear to God, it, there's two realities. I don't know which one's real. Either, either Europeans are fucking assholes and have taken the small, medium, and large sizing chart and then gone a size down on every one of them to make Americans feel like shit, right? That's option one. Because you go to Europe and you buy a large, and it's a medium, straight up. And they cap out at XL. They cap out. After XL, they're like, uh, we are sorry, um, uh, your fat body, perhaps you can buy seven and sew it together. I don't know. <laughs> you fat piece of shit. Don't be sorry. Or Americans took small, medium, and large from Europe. And because our asses are so fat, they bumped everything up a size. They saw a European small and they were like, that's an extra small. I, it, it might even be both, to be honest. It might be both. Either way, I'm wearing a large shirt and I'm, uh, look, you know what I mean? You can't see because it's black, but I'll put miles on this thing. You know what I mean? I'm put, oh, baby, I'm putting miles on this. Oh, baby. Shoo! God damn. Anyway, how's everybody doing today? How's the Sunday going? Sorry about last night's stream. The internet boomed me yet again. Back to back, two days in a row, internet boomage. I don't enjoy when the internet booms me. I do, however, enjoy when the New England Patriots march all over the New York Jets. That was, that was pretty pog. Pretty pog. I'm sick abroad in France and alone. Uh, enjoy it. France is tight. If there's like one place that you can be alone, you know what you should do? That's right, what I would do if I were you. Now, we're different humans. I don't know your life. If I was alone in France, I would rent my ass a Vespa and I would ride around whatever city I'm in for like six days straight. I like being alone. Hear me out. Hear me out. G give me a one if you feel this. I like being alone when I feel energy of life around me. Like, I don't like being alone and then feeling alone. But I like being alone when I don't feel alone. So, like, a buzz of a city 
is enough that I can be alone in that city for a week straight and not mine because the hustle bustle. I can people watch my way through the days. What is not fun to be alone is like you're living by yourself and the only time you see someone is like the DoorDash driver dropping off food. That I don't like so much. I like to know that life is moving. You know? I've never felt the energy of life in my 25 years. Have you left America? <laughs> or have you gone to a big city in America? I slept in this one little apartment in Italy. It was in Florence. And I woke up like 6 a.m. crack assa. Because they start hammering on this bell. Boom. 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 And they're just hammering on that shit. Because Europeans like to flex who's more accurate and rings their bell longer and louder. And then the moment that started happening, I heard like, like it, it, it literally felt like a Cinderella movie. Or not, it felt like a Beauty and the Beast. You know where Bell's walking around town and all the shopkeeps are opening up their shops? I heard that in Italy. Everyone was just like opening up storefronts. Started to hear the hustle bustle, the footsteps. I like that feeling. And then I'm just in bed the whole time. Feels good, man. Have I ever been to Japan? I have never been to Japan, no. I don't really care much for Japan, to be honest. I'll go because I like some of the people in Japan. Don't care for it. Don't care for it. Best city in France? I'm the worst person to ask, you know what I mean? Because when I go to France, I usually go to visit family. So it's like, how can I honestly tell you where to visit when the 12 times I've gone, 10 of which have been to just visit family? Having said that, of the places I have been to, I like Andorra, which is not technically France, but very close to, uh, technically surrounded in part by. I like... I like... Palavas de Float. I like Mies. I like Mies. Mies is alright. I like Mies. I, you bro said another country? Yeah, but it's like close enough. You know what I mean? It's close enough. Uh, I... I'm live... I'm so sick. Dude, it feels like everybody's sick. Have I ever been to Hawaii? I've never been to Hawaii. But I'm in like a... I'm in like a... I feel too guilty to even attempt to go to Hawaii anymore. Post-COVID, and especially in the liberal sphere of Twitter in, in content creation that I'm in, I see content creators go to Hawaii, and then, and then the wolves come out. And then people are like... How dare you? Who the fuck do you think you are? Going to Hawaii? Okay. Here's a few things you could have done before going to Hawaii. Go anywhere else. Kill yourself. Right? Off the top. <laughs> Third one. Not go to Hawaii. Stay home. So I see that happen to other people and I'm like... Okay. <laughs> you know what? I'll stick to California. chat chat are you gonna do the tag across europe thing like am i gonna participate or am i gonna watch the finale because if it's the former i don't know i've not been asked to and if it's the latter i did last night
You should play Maze Navigator on Itch.io. Maze Navigator Itch.io. I don't see it. Maze Navigator. Am I dumb? Stop looking at my damn trash can. Where'd you get your mug, Disney? I will tell you what, Disney... If you ever go to Disneyland, there's like a bunch of things that you can buy, alright? It's a big consumerism place. And one of the things that you can buy are pins. That's like a big thing a lot of people buy. The other is mugs. And then I would say like the third main category that people usually go and buy is like clothing. And I think of the things that Disney sells, the mugs are the best. Ears? The ears are a meme. Nobody really gets Disney ears to, like, hang up at home. You get it to wear at Disney. I'm talking about, like, things to take home. Like, uh, what do you call that? Souvenirs. If the only souvenir you have is an ear, kind of lame. It's kind of lame. Plushies. Their, their, their mugs are goaded. Their pins, pins are stupid. I actually don't understand being pin-pilled. Like, I, their pins are great. Their enamel pins look amazing. Why the fuck would you get a pin? What do you do with a goddamn pin? Throw it on a backpack? Guess. They're cute to collect? Yeah, but Disney's a bunch of bitches, and they're going to send you... They're, they're literally going to make an infinite amount that you can never fully collect. You know what I mean? You literally have one on your mic? Yeah, I have an enamel pin. But that was also gifted to me by a viewer. Don't use my enamel pin as a as a reason to to support pins. Don't don't accuse me. This is by the way, this is Ludwig's pin before I murdered him. Uh anyway, anyway, chat. Today we's got to watch the new cut video. It's how somebody tried to scam me in Tokyo. Uh cut button. What the hell? Yeah. Yeah. New cut video. Woohoo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, boo. Guys, here's the facts. Here's the facts. I watched this one and reacted to it. It was a 1 of 10 on the YouTube channel. Okay? Let's just keep it a stack. 1.6 million views. That's not a number I can ignore. All right? That's not how it works around these parts. Last time you said you wouldn't do it anymore? No, 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 no. Ludwig said he wouldn't do it anymore. Mogul Mail is quite interested in this new cut button era. Okay? Mogul Mail is pretty into it. This one sucks compared to that one. I can believe it. The last one was goaded because the blindfold aspect. They went back to boring old press the button. When will there be a new mogul mail? Dude, I don't know what to make one about. The thing about mogul mail is the moment I start fishing... To find things to make a mogul mail about. The whole charm of the channel has gone. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, I think there's some things that I want to try to, like, like find and make videos of. But if I'm trying to, like, go out of my way to be like, be like, yo, check out this, this fucking thing. Dude, fucking, 
fuck yeah. And there's like, you know what I mean? I'm always like, like I'm like nefariously trying to find like every day, like something that's happening. And like, I, I feel like I become Sunny V2. So sometimes I like to wait. I like to bide my time. I like to bide my time and wait. Am I unfairly critical of Sunny V2? Is Sunny V2 actually based in I'm just soy? No. Maybe I'll watch this Sunny V2 video. I haven't watched a Sunny V2 video genuinely since the yeah, the last one was the Quebel Cop because I watched Moist Critical react to it, then I clicked on the video. But I have not I don't watch these. I'm curious because this one is about a corporation. I'm always down to watch something that is critical of a corporation. It feels worse when it's critical of a human, though. What the fuck is this thumbnail? <laughs> what is this thumbnail? It's Valkyrie grippers out. A raccoon. I thought, what? Ray, what, what is, is that it? thumbnail? <laughs> My bad. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Takuno? Ludwig! Hi, Ludwig! I'm, I'm just looking Ludwig? at Ray's thumbnail on YouTube, and that shit's out of pocket. Wait, what's the thumbnail? What's the thumbnail? It's her standing like a rabid animal in the middle of a room, grippers rabid? out. <laughs> grippers rabid. out. Huh? Uh oh, oh, it's rabid. No, no, my 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 piggies are blurred. The grippers are out and blurred, but the they're still the out. Grippers are blurred. <laughs> hey, when the grippers are out, okay. the grippers are out, blurred or not, you know what I mean? Eh, eh. Okay, you know, have you ever played Overwatch, Led? No, I <laughs> I refuse to play Overwatch. Oh. Wait, why do you refuse to play it? Because the liberals yeah. are trying to get everybody to play that game because it's gay Valorant. I've always said this. Oh. oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just shit um, on him with the big poo poo caca. Oh, did you need that? Oh. What Holy is this? Jesus. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Doors, doors. My real reason is because um, I don't have enough time to play video games off stream. And I've dedicated a good chunk of time to becoming what I would call above average in Valorant. And the idea or the prospect of having to undertake learning a new game is like devastating to me. It's like, ugh. like this that that's the that's the feels I get. I'm like, oh, I don't want to have to. And I and I am betting that the longevity of Valorant will outlast the longevity of Overwatch. Cause the way everybody talked about Overwatch one point two. And then when it came out, they're like, it's actually fun. I think I think everyone's going to turn on Overwatch. So I'm betting by not playing Overwatch that I won't waste time getting good at a game that people will move on from when they will go back to the game that I will be, have been playing the whole time and be better at. Now, there's a universe that Overwatch just overtakes Valorant, and I'm wrong and dumb, and I I have to move on because that's what everybody plays if I want to play with anybody, uh, and, and then I'll just have to hold it. I don't think I will be wrong. Like, Overwatch right now has 120k viewers with drops on. So, drops on, it's barely, barely doing better than Valorant. And Tarek's also not online. All right? Tarek gets online, all of a sudden, we got we got a close game. Also, League is dominating right now. Just have fun with the game instead of trying to be good. Have you read the chat one time ever when I'm playing a competitive game? <laughs> That's not how it works. Overwatch has 150k viewers on YouTube? No. What? No, there's no way. Where are you getting these numbers from? Uh? Hold up, hold up, hold up. What? One million viewers for the Brazilian election. Em Brasília, agora estamos com 98,77%. Wow, the Brazilian presidential election. One million viewers on YouTube. 
And then we have this probably also Brazilian election coverage. Yeah. Wow. Who are you voting for? That's not how it works. And then Overwatch League has 155,000 viewers. Taking these fights early. Is that good? Is that good? I can't tell if that's good. It's playoffs? That's bad. I feel like it's bad. Am I crazy? For playoffs? Better than Valo? No. Is it? I definitely don't think it is. I guess it's better than Overwatch 1. So, by that metric, there's probably more on Twitch. As far as I know, Overwatch has signed exclusively to YouTube, so there are zero viewers on Twitch. Right? I'm right about that, right? The Valorant Championship match was around 100K. All right, maybe I'm biased, but you're just making up numbers. That's just that's just categorically false. Unless you aren't considering co-streamers, which is one of the larger parts of Valorant viewership. Which would be disingenuous. If you want to take that disingenuous angle, though, then by all means, go ahead. I won't argue. But Tarek alone had about 120,000 viewers. So, you know, like if you want to pretend that Tarek watching the finals doesn't count as viewers for the finals, then, you know, fine. But IMO doesn't really seem fair. League has 400K. Yeah, but to be honest, you can't compare League to this. League has a shit ton of viewers, though. 155K on YouTube, and it has 425K on Twitch. Wait, is this a replay? This is a replay, right? Yeah, okay, I was going to say. Stop seeing, being so biased. You can be wrong. I'm down to be wrong. You know what? I'm down to make this bet with anyone. I think in one calendar year, the viewership for Overwatch as a category and the viewership uh, for Overwatch League compared to Valorant uh, as an esports will, will be lower. I'm willing to make that bet with any human alive. I think in one calendar year, Valorant will far and away have more viewers. Let's do a poll. We'll, we'll call it average, you know, because obviously tournaments, you know, there will be months where there's tournaments for Valorant that'll have more in, like a like a three month average a year from now. Dude, I thought this clip was so funny. You know what? Let's delay it. Official call. We're delaying it. We'll come up with a date. I'm not sponsored by Valorant. I just think that Riot Games has such a hold on the balls of esports, and they're the one who consistently does it what I think is correctly. And, 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 and like, you are betting on Blizzard. If you had to, like, if you take out the games and how fun the game is, it's like, who are you going to bet on? Activision Blizzard, right? Act of fucking Vision Blizzard. <laughs> Just for a moment, think about who, whose horse you're riding on. Activision Blizzard's horse or Riot Games' horse? I take Riot Games in almost every single game category that exists against Activision Blizzard. It's Microsoft Activision Blizzard now. Rolls off the tongue that you don't have you're you're so crazy busy. and microsoft is good at video games everybody knows this the xbox is crushing against playstation <laughs> everybody knows this Z? okay i see no you are you're all over my youtube recommended pages every single day every podcast you're in i even screenshotted a message that somebody commented you want to hear it <clears throat> yeah, okay. everywhere i go i see ludwig i'm scared 
The Yard, Mogul Mail, Ludwig. I go to Anthony Padilla's channel, Ludwig. I go to Cold Ones, Ludwig. I go watch Mr. Beast. I think I'm safe? No. Ludwig's there halfway through. I close my eyes to sleep at night, Ludwig. I'm making love to my wife? It's Ludwig. I close my phone? I can't take it anymore? I finally feel secure? Okay, let's go listen to banter. He's there too! <laughs> Okay. No, it's so true, though. I got to do less shit, bro. Yeah, it didn't even include, like, the Graham Stevens podcast or Graham Stevens podcast. I got to do less shit. I'm in too many things. This has happened to me before, actually. As a streamer, I remember. I remember when I came up as a streamer, and it was right around the time where Pog Champs, the chess tournament, was popping off. And a lot of the clips that would come from that event would be posted on Livestream Fail. And after that, Among Us hit. And a lot of those clips would end up on YouTube. And I had my face being plastered in a lot of places over a two to three month period. And 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 it, it was like, if you didn't know about Ludwig, now you fucking know about Ludwig. To a lot of people. And, uh, and, and I could see the more that I was being exposed to people, there was a turn. Because at the start, everybody was like, damn, this guy's funny as fuck. This guy's fucking hilarious, bro. Damn, this guy, shoot. Uh, it's it's nothing but lulls and lulls for this for me when I see this guy. And then and then there's like an oversaturation. And then people are like, like, I get it. Like, his, his bits are kind of, they're kind of stale. <laughs> He's kind of Pepe Pains in a way. And, and it's like, it's like you... If you're on the screen too much in a way, people start people start getting turned off. You know what it is? It's like, and and you know, God forbid it, I com uh, God forbid I compare me to this guy, but it's like it's like you you James Corden yourself, or the other example is like you Pharrell yourself, where Pharrell is an amazingly talented musical artist, but when Happy was being played on every single radio station in every single coffee shop at every single AirPod in America. It was like, I don't like this Pharrell guy. <laughs> I'm seeing too much of this Pharrell guy. Even though he's like an amazing artist. Like he makes amazing music. But it's like, but if, if I hear like, cause I'm happy, I'm going to fucking kill myself. And so that's, that's, that's happened three times in my career. One, during Pogo Ch Pog Champs Among Us. Two, right around the subathon, right? And then three, right now. <laughs> I've been I've been signing up and you know what the worst part it's not done. It's not done because literally next week I'm going to be doing I'm going to be doing um uh the the wired autofill complete interview. The wired auto complete interview. Ask Stans where the watch party is. I'm lonely. Stans doesn't stream on the weekends. It's a new thing he's doing. I think he's just like trying to Balance. I've already leaked this. I already leaked this, so I don't mind leaking it again. Nobody yelled at me last time I leaked it, so. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do one of these things. Which I love these. I love watching these. I think Tommy Innit did one. These are so good that even if you don't do them, I you know what's funny? I think I did my own. Yeah, I literally did my own autocomplete interview like two years ago. <laughs> but like scuffed. Boys! Like I just, I just like looked up on Google and then answered the question. So this will be this will be the two I can't believe that was two years ago. Dude, I've been in this room for two years. Isn't that crazy? Look how different the room is. This is now when I started. What is that face, bro? I look chubby as hell. It looks better before. Really? I mean, I, I I think it looks better now. I like it more. It's got some charm to it now. That filled up trash can. It was it was definitely cleaner before. It was definitely cleaner before. But you know what? Like, I, I, if I ever get a new stream room or if I ever redo my stream room, I got to start moving on from like, 
Like, I, I, I think, like, two shelves in the back's a bit, it's a bit tacky, you know? It's a bit corny. Two shelves in the back, bunch of shit in the shelves. I want something more usable. I want a space that you can, like, actually use. Dude, I've been watching so much Symphony today. Cause I'm happy. Like hi, yeah, like hi, dude. Kai's space is awesome. There's two things I want to change. I want to change to have a space more similar to Kai's space. And then I think I want to change my mic setup because I don't like that if I stand over there, you guys can't hear me. So I need a space, I need a mic setup that I can walk over there and you guys can hear me just as well. What happened to the Sunny V2 video? We're still going to watch it. We're going to watch a cut.com video. We're going to watch a Sunny T T V2 video. Chill, man. Let me let me shoot this shit. You know what I mean? Like, goddamn. Let me shoot this shit. We're watching both. Oh, two 10-minute videos. And then we're going to play Pogo Stuck. So, you, look, we're going to game. I, the thing is, I have to be Pogo Stuck. I literally have zero YouTube videos to upload because my editors are just, they done run out of dick. I got nothing for them. Because I, I just, I've been stuck on Pogo Stuck and my internet's been fucking me for, for days now. By the way, if you guys haven't heard about this yet, this is the uh, Subathon 2.0. Now, I will admit fully that the Subathon 2.0 uh, moniker is more advertising than it is accurate. There is an element of trapped in a room for an amount of time based off the amount of donations. But because it's capped to 50 hours, it, it, it will almost assuredly just go the full time. You know what I mean? Like it, it will ex like go to that full time. So the goal of what it is, is rather than being 30 days. Misinformation. It's called advertising. Liberals. What's the point if you cap it though? Cap subathons are are very much a thing. Cap subathons existed for years and years and years before uncapped subathons. I never said uncapped. You could do a 24 hour subathon. 50 hours is weak as fuck. Nathan, I'm in the middle of explaining. Can you shut your goddamn mouth for once? All right, Nathan Lee. All of us have been talking about you when you leave, but for the love of God. You make it hard, <laughs> right? Our patience is 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 big, but you wear on it. You wear on it, Nathan. You wear on it. God. Whew. As I was saying, the goal of this event is to raise the maximum amount of money for charity. Now, originally, I wanted to do a hundred hours in a glass box. That was my goal. I wanted to do a hundred hours in a glass box. Unfortunately. The place that I'm doing this at is DreamHack Atlanta. And DreamHack Atlanta is a three-day event, and the max amount of time that they allowed me to do it was 50 hours. Because it's 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 technically not even a 72-hour event, uh, and they close during the night. So so they allowed me to go over the night. That was like they they like allowed they had like an exception. Uh, but that was the max amount of time that I was allowed to do. Uh, and so the idea now is like, hey, rather than, because there's two worlds, right? One world is you do something that goes for a long amount of time. So the closer you get to the end of the time, the more exciting it becomes because it's a finale to a journey. In the day-to-day, -day, we can both readily admit that the day-to-day -day in the subathon was quite boring, right? So if, if we were to look back, if we did a 30-day event again, the day-to-day -day would be probably pretty tame, pretty lame. So rather than 30 days of me, it's going to try to be 50 hours of jam-packed content. So like every hour having something ready to go as a reward for raising money for charity. And oftentimes the things ready to go will be punishments for me. So drink the hottest hot sauce. Uh, paintball gun, uh, barber comes into the glass booth and shaves my shit, 
uh, dye my hair on the spot, like maybe yard in the box. Yeah, sure. But 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 basically ideas that we can do, kind of like Germa's dollhouse, but but more more um, more live and more real, right? Because Germa's dollhouse obviously is it's not scripted, but it's like improv. But like this is like this is like this is more like masochist. You know what I mean? Like when 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 Germa's dollhouse said a bear will enter the house. You're not you're not thinking to yourself, oh fuck, a live bear might kill Germa. But when I do it and it's like put a skunk in the glass box, there's gonna be a fucking skunk inside of that glass box with me. So it's 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 like it's a little bit Truman show, it's a little bit David Blaine, because he trapped himself in a in a box for like, I don't know, forty days or something. Uh it's a it's a little bit dollhouse, it's a little bit subathony, and it's a lot of it trying to raise the maximum amount of money for charity. The skunk was by the way, I'm not leaking any of the actual things here. Uh I'm I'm just giving examples of what they could be so you have a better idea of what will happen. But zero intent to leak it here. So ignore the skunk. That was just a hypothetical. What charity? It's going half to Alvea Sanctuary because I think it's kind of funny because I'm a zoo animal to donate to a an animal-based charity. And I know Alvaeus, a little bit short on squeesh these days. Uh, and then the other one is No Kid Hungry. So we're just going to split it 50-50. And my, my soft goal is 100K. Or excuse me, my... My 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 long shot goal is two fifty k, but my 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 hard goal is one hundred k. Anyway, that's the idea. That's the idea. Are tickets for chess boxing available? They're not available yet. They'll be available in about a week. And then an update on anyone who bought a bidet. The bidets will start shipping, I believe, November 21st. Um, I, I just checked that today. All right, let's get to it. Let's get to it. All right, okay, so... <laughs> So, 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 so. Uh, you know, <laughs> this is awkward. This is awkward. This is embarrassing in a way. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how to, how to come clean and talk about this. What is how do I even bring, how do I even broach this? Just play it. I know. I just. I just need to explain why we're playing it, you know? It's... What... <laughs> okay. I might have said that my guilty pleasure is watching the reality TV on YouTube, the dating shows that are there. And then we watched a video about how a guy tries to hugs girls, uh, hug girls blindfolded to see if they're fat so he can reject them on a dating show, which, which, which was a pretty funny video. And, and honestly, when I went into it, I honestly said this is going to be a one-time thing. I, I, I honestly thought that. I thought this is a one-time thing and I'm never doing it again. And what changed, and what cha and we're here today for a reason because we're gonna watch one more. But what changed is I honestly thought it was so fun to do. I thought it was just a really good time, and because of that, here we are yet again with another edition of the button. So let's get to it. If you don't know, it's the button. They'll explain it for you. You know how like if there's someone you really like, you like the smell of them. Yes. I'm the same with my dog. <laughs> okay. Do you have any dogs? What? Yeah. 
Welcome to The Button, a speed dating show. When the button lights up red, either player may press it and swap out their date for a new person. Get out of here. If two people can last on a date for 10 minutes, they win an all expenses paid second date. Now, a lot of people have discussed how the button is flawed and how it would be better if you pressed the button and then you left. So rather than you press the button, the person across from you leaves. It's no longer a race to press the button. It is now a deep decision on whether you want to stay or not, which I think is a decent idea only because it opens the doorway to an insufferable, miserable soul to stand there refusing to ever hit the button while they have 10 people in a row hit the button for them. And I think that's kind of funny. <laughs> terrible, terrible. But let's be real. If we're already watching this reality TV shit, we're 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 getting a little bit we're getting a little bit drama y. Okay, we're we're here for the tea. We're not here for good vibes. We're here for fun vibes. This is the button. Hello. Hi. I like your shirt. Oh, thank you very yeah. much. I appreciate it. Did you get it at like a thrift store or something? Oh yeah, I got it from one of my friends. Yeah. Nice. Trey makes one thousand plus tortillas a day. It's <laughs> the worst fact to kick it off. What the? How do you do that? A thousand? A thousand tortillas a day? It's a lot of. That's a lot of damn tortillas. Should I go bottom left, chat? How did I have it last time? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's be smart here. Yeah, um, yeah. That's just kind of. No, I had a top right. What's wrong with top right? A thousand tortillas a day is crazy. It's probably a job thing. I do make a lot of tortillas every day. For like work or? Yeah, that's how for, I make my money. Like, that's kind of what I do. I grew up eating a lot of Mexican food, so. Oh, really? I like tortillas. Oh, oh right. yeah. You know, if mm -hmm. you're hanging out with me, you can get fresh tortillas anytime. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone ever pulled off a wink successfully? Has anyone ever successfully pulled off a wink? Because I, dare I say, I think no. I think it's never successfully worked in my life. Tortillas. Oh, right. yeah. You know, if you're mm -hmm. hanging out with me, you can get fresh tortillas anytime. Nice. And it also, it, you can tell, because the thing is, if you're winking, you have to think about winking. It looks like he tried to wink, blinked, and then doubled down for a wink. Let's do one more replay. Oh, really? Like tortillas. Oh, oh right. yeah. You know, if mm -hmm. you're hanging out with me, you can get fresh tortillas. Like, <laughs> like right there. Right there, he's like going for it, and then he's like, ah, nice. shit, double down. I gotta, wait, I gotta make this one obvious. <laughs> Was it the wink? Yeah. Not I'm too big of a fan of tortillas, yeah. then, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> can I get the fuck out of here? I want the, uh... Sure. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> I like that guy. Oh, okay, my, one of my favorite parts about this show is this new thing they've been doing where they go back to the room with all the boys and then all the boys start hyping each other up and the same with the girls' room. Oh. Oh. What? Hello. Hello. I'm Abby. I'm Cody. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. you. What do you do for like your hobbies? I'm really into K-pop. K-pop? <laughs> so, like, K-pop concerts. Nice, nice. Yeah. Like BTS. Oh, yeah. Black sure. Abby hates feet. The button should just shut the fuck up. The, the conversation openers are bad. That's a nowhere conversation. Hates feet? What is that starter? A thousand tortillas? That's shit. We need better conversation starters. And the button doesn't need to be the one doing it. It's weird. They were, they're fine. They were talking about K-pop in a normal conversation. And the button's like, she hates feet. <laughs> what are you supposed to do with that info? Oh, you like K-pop? That's really cool. Like BTS? I like that too. By the way, Abby once fucked seven guys on one night. What? What are you saying? Why are you telling me this? Let us talk. Jesus Christ. What do you hate feet? Um, I just think they're really gross. <laughs> Can you show her your feet? Do you want me to show you my feet? <laughs> yes, please. What? What is, what is going on? What is going on? How is this a converse? Okay, what should happen here if I can read society well. So this person on the right said they hate feet. The guy on the left showed feet. The next thing that should happen is the girl on the right clicks the button. Oh, nice. Cool. How do we feel about the feet? Um, 
Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't blame you. I'm not a big fan of feet. Didn't hit the button. Okay. Uh, you know what? Actually kind of impressed. Kind of cool. Especially uh, For sure. a big climber. So my climbing shoes get kind of oh. rough. Yeah. But what's a normal Sunday for you? I get up, climb, and lately we've been doing a lot of barbecues. The climbing? Oh, okay. All right. I didn't know this. I didn't know. I used to do a bit of rock climbing. I quit because it's really easy to get injured. Uh, it looks like the best reason for everybody else to quit is because you're going to get no bitches. <laughs> Ain't nobody trying to hang out with a climber. I will say, of all the physical exercises you could do to improve on your health, climbing is one of the most fun and also one of the most fucking annoying. Because the thing about climbers is they don't shut the fuck up about climbing. It, be, it You know that one Ted Nivison uh, uh, TikTok audio trend? Well, this is going to be the person my personality for the rest of my life. That's climbing. That was me for three months. Okay, all right, dude. I wasn't even that bad about it. I barely talked about climbing. And I'm a great climber. I literally can climb a V9 now. Anyway, we'll ignore that. But this is kind of embarrassing that she didn't hit the button after seeing his feet and she hates feet. And then he said, I'm a climber and she hit it. Why did you reject me? Oh, um, I'm just not really like an outdoorsy person but you, um, you're really no awesome. worries yeah no, nice yeah you. you're so nice wait climbing's usually indoor i mean like it can be outdoor too obviously but like most novice climbers will be indoor also why does that matter uh, that's crazy <laughs> all right if i know anything about guys if the girl's there for too long, they start getting rowdy, and he's gonna snap, click the button, no matter what she says. How are you doing? I'm good. Yeah? How are you? Good. What makes you horny? <laughs> <laughs> what was that, bro? What was that? What was that? What? Oh, look at this. The button made a noise. He was so ready to snap, hit it. He tried to play it off. Look at his face. He goes, ooh. Ooh. No, I was doing one of these. This is actually what I do a lot. It's actually how I write. I go. It's one of my. It's one of my signature moves. Also, another dog shit conversation opener from the button. Horny. Sorry. What makes you horny? Makes you horny? I don't know. This is weird. I'm an ass man. Mm -hmm. Is that? Is that weird to say? Oh. <laughs> 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 Fucking shit. Sit! Yeah! See me in Jeopardy! Yeah! <laughs> what, is, what is that? What is that? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, and wait. Oh! I didn't even see. He beat her to it. Oh, no, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. He didn't. Never mind, never mind. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I was going the wrong way. What is that? What is that? Hold up, hold up. Button lights up red right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve frames. That is a twelve frame. I think it's a one frame input to get it that quickly. I, you can see that 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 was positive on shield because she was in a defensive stance and wasn't able to get there until frame fifteen. Kind of godlike, to be honest. Kind of godlike. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. This is going to sound hell hella whack, but none of the guys have got to press the button yet. Oh, okay. What? What? <laughs> what? What a shit theory. <laughs> it's like the weirdest... You're the one who rejected the first two guys. How is that a... Th You've rejected them. How is your theory that they don't like white women? You rejected a guy for being outdoorsy because he climbs inside. <laughs> I don't know. I don't get it. 
I also don't think she has the the grounds to stand on to say he was so aggressive and hit the button so fast because she was three frames behind him. Like if he hadn't hit the button in a world where he was like, this is actually kind of fun. She was about to press it. Which maybe she was about to press it because he fake pressed it. So I'll give her that. But kind of weird to, to try to stand all that. I'm Julie. Carrick, nice to meet you. Carrick? Yeah. Nice to meet you. I have a fact about Julie. She was banned from Hinge. Banned from <laughs> Hinge? What did you do? I was unhinged, unhinged, and oh, shit. I would fire back drunk. to anybody that would make too early of a sexual. Oh, hear her out! Let her finish the story! Also, what's up with the button? You didn't even allow the button to finish the thought. Your turn. To anybody that would make too early. You know what's sad too? There's this thing that happens, and this happens outside of the button, but the moment one person attempts to hit the button, the other person also attempts to hit the button. So him going for the button here, she had zero intention of going for it. She sees him go for it. Eyes clearly focus on it. She also Sexual. goes for it in a defensive way. It's kind of like, you know how sometimes guys get rejected? And then they're like, whatever, you're an ugly, dumb bitch anyway. I feel like this is the physical manifestation of that. When people have the button about to be clicked on them, they try to click the button. So <laughs> Why'd you reject me? Um, I feel like we were vibing more than the last girl, but like still yeah. kind of wasn't. Like, I see. There, okay. I guess. Thank you. But you're dope. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I got banned off Tinder, so I guess we had that in common. <laughs> Who cares? No one gives a shit. You're not allowed to tell this. You didn't let her finish the story. You're not allowed to tell her shit now. She said like seven words. Yeah, that was crazy. He's unhinged. I'll tell you what. He's unhinged. He's going to get snap pressed next time. I also feel like he's treating the button as like uh he's like a nah you're not from me. Like 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 a like a like a sidemen 20 verse 1. And he's just sitting there, he's like pass, pass. He's like doing IRL Tinder swiping <laughs> with the button. Look how shocked they are. Jasmine. Jasmine. Yeah, nice I like your earrings. Thank you. Well, hey, at least we now know it's not because she was a white woman. All right? White women, today is is not your day. You were you were not being attacked. Same. Same. Yeah, true. Mine's a little bigger, but... Jasmine likes nerdy frat guys. Nerdy frat guys? <laughs> That's not me. What are you? How do you describe <laughs> yourself? Um, I don't know. Yeah, Why'd you reject me? Was it was it because I rejected the the last two? No, I'm not. Shit, huh? No, I'm not petty like that. But shit. maybe a little bit. That's all right. But like, I feel like that. just on my time. It's okay. No, it's all right. You seem like a cool know. person though. Yeah, you too. Yeah. yeah. Say bye. <laughs> Danny. Hi, Danny. I like your sweater. Wow, <laughs> Danny's sweater's so, like fire. The right day to wear this sweater. Yeah. This is my first time wearing it. Talk about this thing that you humans call God. Okay. Oh. I don't necessarily say that I'm. Christian just because religion mm -hmm. is really hard for me because sure. Christianity has hurt a lot of people yeah, yeah, okay. so He's got the chain on is that the Jesus piece? Oh, I still He's got the Jesus piece. This is not gonna work out. This is not gonna work out Struggle with that, um, but I do have um, a really okay. relationship with Jesus. Oh, never mind. It can work out I I did not expect that there was a full 180 right there. She's a great relationship with Jesus. All right Maybe it'll work out. I was a youth pastor for like three months okay. at 21. We did like this promo video for the kids like it's like rap Christian video and I did it <laughs> Too early to admit that that's like a that's like a date three thing that you admit be into Jesus all you want. That's fine. That's enough to bring up on the first date. You start bringing up crash Christian rap videos, we've gone too far. All right? I've made this mistake. My first date with Cutie Cinderella, I said to her, hey, I was in a musical called Legally Blonde in high school. And she's like, oh, that's cool. And I was like, you really think so? And she's like, yep. And then I made her watch it day one. I did not know my limits back then. I now know my limits. All right. I jumped the gun a little bit there. I probably should not have shown her my musical that I was in <laughs> on the first date. Probably should have stuck to like, you know, she's the man or something. Classic movie here. You know how I am lucky it worked out. Oh, what the hell? Because <laughs> that was a it was the worst start you could have.
outside of Christian rap. And I did it. We're gonna, oh, that's crazy. Fa okay, fashion wise, I, the Kraken hat doesn't go with the sweater. The audacity! How, how do you have the balls brazen? Out of pocket? You know what? I don't want to date you. And by the way, your hair looks like shit. <laughs> You're not the one for me. And what's up with your beard? Are you not shaving the sides for a reason? Because you could probably add a nice curve here and it'd look better. And a couple more tips. If you stop buying Starbucks, you might be able to save enough to become a millionaire. Couple piece of advice for you. Go back to the boys now. Goodbye. <laughs> I, the, look, if I know anything about the guys, he's going to go back. He's going to tell her what happened. It's going to be an instant reject for her on the next guy. Which like sounds does. really bad. It and does, I'm, I'm not basing this off. She don't know what she's talking about. It does. Trust me. It's like, it just, no, to no, me, it doesn't it works. It works. You seem like a cool person, though. And he said my hat didn't go my fit. I'm like. She also opened up complimenting his sweater. And said I'm not petty. You know what I think it is? I, I I think people are so afraid of being honest that their first reaction to the question, why did you reject me, is a lie. It's always a lie. Why did you reject me? I don't like the way you look. I don't like how much you're in a God. So it's like, what is a lie that I can tell that softens the blow? But oftentimes, the lie would be worse than the truth. The vibes is just another lie. The vibes is a way to not answer the question. Everyone's a fucking liar, which I don't get because this is your only conversation you have to have with this human. Just tell the truth. It's cool. Oh. What's your biggest hobby? Biggest hobby? DJ. Okay. Jasmine is into clubbing. Are you into That's clubbing? That's true. I do love to go out. I'll be in the club. Okay. Go Can you dance. two show me your best club oh. dancing? <laughs> oh, is that like the recipe? Oh, nope. What is that? That's sturdy. All right, let's see how sturdy he can get to this button. Gritty on over to the button, my man. Bro, if, oh, shit. Let me, let me see one person hit the Luddy right there. Let me see one person hit the Luddy. Imagine? The sturdy? Yeah. Oh. Why did you reject me? Okay, the dance moves. You're so, so petty. It's unbelievable. <laughs> this is the pettiest reason. Your hat doesn't go with your sweater and your dance moves. I would too, bro. I didn't even see her dance. How about you dance? Show me your dance moves. As a premier dancer, probably top 10 North America, as the inventor of the Luddy, as someone who understands dancing, all right? In my mind right here, I'm like, what the fuck have you made that changed society forever? All right? But I wouldn't use that as a reason. Not everybody can hit the peaks that I hit. Like, I just... I got secondhand embarrassment. I'm not gonna lie. I'm sorry. That's okay. I thought his dance moves were fucking dope. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. If you never talked again, it would be a 10% better show. <laughs> the the button. What I don't like is the buttons for some reason talks in like a high pitched valley girl voice. So it always seems sexual. I thought his dance moves were fucking dope. And I thought his hat looked really good. <laughs> Given the opportunity, if it was me and one of them, I would fuck them. They could do anything to my button. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What kind of vibe are you looking for? I don't know. Someone who's like easy going and having fun. You seem cool, but I want somebody that knows what they want, you know, and the whole like, you know, I don't know my vibe, kind of a little bit of a red flag for me. Okay. Sorry. Are anyone cute or no? I was wondering, he was kind of cute, and I was like, I could find that your hat doesn't match your hobby. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do for work? Um, so I'm a patient access representative, and then I'm also a nursing student, and I'm going to be a nurse tech soon. Okay, that's... I can't believe the girls backed her up on that. But you know what it is? I mean, guys back up guys, girls back up girls in groups like that, but I can't believe that was the reason. Everyone's like, yeah, true. <laughs> Hat doesn't match. That's brutal. Do girls talk about that, like, about guys? Oh, my God. Now I'm insecure. Okay. Sorry. All right, anyone cute?
<laughs> Thank God I'm dating QD. Otherwise, I'd be fucked. You kidding me? I have never matched once in my goddamn life. I walk into every building with Crocs. I'd be ru I'd be ruined. What do you do for work? Um, so I'm a patient access representative, and then I'm also a nursing student, and I'm going to be a nurse tech soon. Okay, that's How it. about you? Uh, I work at the Department of Licensing. I just work in customer relations, so basically just handle, um, you know, people's records and stuff like that. That's cool. Can so you right? ask him what Can you let her fucking finish her thought? His turn-ons are. What the fuck is wrong with you? I, they're having a fine uh, The uh, I'm getting pissed off. I'm getting pissed. Is I'm getting pissed off. I'm getting mad. I'm getting mad. This show would, I think, be decent without the existence of the button. The button, I know, is trying to push the conversation forward, but jumps the gun in ways that make the conversations awkward and unmanageable. And I guess it's to extend it so you don't have a date off rip, but it's so weird. It's so cringe. I don't say that word a lot. You guys know I don't say that word a lot. That's cringe. What are your turn-ons? Um, I think, like, turn-on-wise, I am big on, like... And then you know, you know how fucking dog the button... The button's, like, so predictable. The button's, like, the button's, like, ask him how big his dick is. And then the moment the guy has to answer in this un 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 now un uncomfortable situation, he's, like, uh, like, f f f four and a half. The, the, like, the moment they answer, the button's, like, Kew! and it goes red. And yeah, someone's going to click the fucking button after they just had to go through an awkward scenario they weren't ready for. Like, I'm a, uh, my love language is physical. Okay. So, like, I feel so bad. He's so nervous. Oh, my God. You can hear it in his voice. I'm big on, like, I'm a, uh, my love language is physical. Okay. So, like, turn-ons wise, I don't know. I, I, it's hard to describe. It's one of those, like, you know, like, anything in this area, I guess. Yeah. Oh, okay, like, not, okay, not okay. like Not like porn star status, not uh, like that, uh, but like... I wasn't thinking of porn star, but now <laughs> I'm thinking like of that. porn star. <laughs> no. What about you? I just like when somebody kind of does, like, words of affirmation. No, yeah, I that's totally my get kind that. Of you know, kind of like the reaffirming... The reaffirmation. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know how to talk. I like how they clutched up and they changed it to love language over what is your turn on. Because those are different questions. <laughs> it's okay. okay. This is actually clutch. I think she's probably a conversational god based off this interaction. I think she'll hit the button. My gut says that, that she's probably not into him. But she's a conversational god. Sorry. I'm so sorry to pause, but we need to fix something. Oh, no, button. Are you okay? Oh, no. <laughs> she got a little cold. <laughs> Do you find Brian attractive? <laughs> Are you asking me? Yeah. I kind of do. You get the strut going, you know? You got that going. <laughs> hey, what's up? I'm Rosia. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. I'll, I'll just bow out. <laughs> All right. What? They cooked him! They cooked him! I thought that dude's name was Brian the whole time. The guy fixing the buttons called Brian. And the button said, do you find Brian a ch That's so mean. This show's dog, bro. This show, you know what? I, I didn't want it to say this. this. is my last time watching the button. This is my last time watching the button. The people who are producing this show are vile. They're vile. All right? If you're gonna set up a premise, at least let it run out. At least let it run out. This is like if you're watching America Ninja Warrior... And at the end where they have to go up the vertical wall, there's just somebody at the top with a bunch of Metamucil that they dump on it for one competitor specifically. <laughs> no, it's fun, though. It's fun. Dude, it's fucking fun and entertaining, though, dude. Fuck, because the other people are going to get it, and they're going to crush, and you're going to fail. Fucking loser. It's mean. This is me. This was mean. I understand asking inappropriate questions to push conversations forward. I say this is mean. I draw the line here. It works. <laughs> Fair enough. Was that? <laughs> that was dog. Are you testing it? Yeah, but testing rejection? and rejection. <laughs> I feel so bad. He was given like that kid in high school who was like super sweet, and then you never wanted to reject him, and they come over to you, and they're like, will you date me? And you're like, no. That's half you guys. That she just talked about, she just fucking, she literally got half you guys.
to a T. She's talking about friend zone right now. Ooh. Nice guys finish last. That's why I'll treat you like trash. It's or maybe I only had that experience. <laughs> you like bad boys? Yeah, I do like bad boys. Hi. <laughs> Fucking called it, bro. Ryan Higa called that shit bar for bar. She said we're cute. You are focused on the wrong things, my man. <laughs> <laughs> you like what now? I like bad boys. <laughs> what makes you think I'm a bad boy? I didn't say that. I was just saying. <laughs> nah, that's okay. What's your name? Razia. What's your name? Jason. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Are you a bad boy? I'm a wholesome person. How about that? Mm. You sound so toxic. I'm sorry. I'm not toxic at all. I'm a wholesome person. I am wholesome. I'm going to let you redo it. How would you describe yourself? Wholesome. <laughs> He's pretty straightforward. This guy's as plain Jane as it gets. She's trying to flirt with him. He's not giving it back. She's trying to flirt with him right now. She's like trying to get him to say I'm a bad boy because that's what she wants. He's like, fuck that shit. I'm wholesome. <laughs> I'm just nice as shit. I'm sorry. Salt of the earth. <laughs> I really like your earrings. That's the Oh, one thank you. <laughs> she did that with confidence. She did that with swagger. There was not a hesitation in her mind when she hit that. <laughs> I really like your earrings. That's the Oh, one thank you. <laughs> Damn. As you're saying thank you. He was cute. Why? I mean, look, she said she liked bad boys. She attempted to flirt with him by saying, are you a bad boy? Let's start again. He was like, nope, I'm just nice. So she's out. She's also, and this is how it works for guys and girls, attractive enough that she does not need to entertain anyone because even if she rejects four guys in a row, the fifth guy will probably give her a chance because she's attractive enough. And that's just the reality of the situation here. As soon as he said, she gets her pick. A wholesome. Greens, that's the oh, thank you. <laughs> as soon as he said, wholesome, non-toxic. I'm sorry, but I don't believe you. <laughs> like I don't believe you one bit. Nice to meet you. You too. Cole likes to smell his dog. Oh yeah. What? Do you are you like a pet person? I mean yeah, but like what do you mean you like to smell your dog? <laughs> so you know how like if there's someone you really like, you like the smell of them. Yes. I'm the same with my dog. <laughs> okay. Like so, like, you're picking out the shampoos and stuff on purpose to make sure they smell good for you, or like. Shane Dawson's back. <laughs> it's a, it's, you know what? It's a wholesome thought. The way it comes across is that I imagine this dude comes home, grabs his little fluffy friend, and just goes. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> That's right, buddy. And that is what makes me uncomfortable is that thought. But what is probably more natural is just going home and being like, oh, I love this puppy. Uh, come here, buddy. And that's that's more that's more kind. But it shouldn't be listed as a fun fact. That's not a good fun fact. I wouldn't list that as my fun fact. I would probably avoid that as my fun fact. Every single morning I wake up, I go to the bathroom and Coots sleeps in the bathroom and then she likes her face rubbed specifically by my big toe and she'll run into my big toe like this for about six minutes. Now during this period, I let her do her thing because she enjoys it and I and I like I've tried just to pet her with my hands, but it's what she likes. You know what I wouldn't do? I wouldn't use that as my conversation opener. I just wouldn't. I wouldn't bring up my cat loves my toes because that sounds weird. It's true. It sounds weird. I don't bring this up to people. I keep this to myself. It's a private fact about me. Oh, for my own hair or no, for my no, dog? No, for your dog. Yeah, no. I mean, just as like. That button's going red and she's not snapping. Even she, you can see her hand. She, look at this. Look, she's like fidgeting her hand because she's so anxious to press no, it. No, for your dog. Yeah, no. I mean, just as like. Not even when he shampooed it like the barber, just just whatever. Oh. Just like smell my dog. I guess that's kind of weird. Do you have any dogs? But I don't. I used to have a dog. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. I like your little fit you got going on here. Thank you, man. I tried a little bit. Okay, Top Golf. Do you work at Top Golf? I do. I'm a bartender there. Oh, okay. okay. I usually go to the actual driving ranges, you know, in the okay. area. So you play golf? I do play golf. Oh, okay. Do you play golf? Uh, I picked it up when I got the top golf. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, we might have to get a swing sometime. Yeah, that'd be fun. Okay. See what I mean? See what I mean? 
Four rejections back to back to back to back. Look at the camera at every single one. But this might work right here. This might work right here. Now, it would be insanely Giga Chad if he rejected her. That'd be insanely Giga Chad. But I get it if he doesn't. So what do you like to do for fun other than golf? So I was a cosmetologist and an esthetician for a little bit. Oh, okay. So you could do hair. Yeah, I can do hair. But I have a question. Mm -hmm. How would your ex, your most recent one, describe you? She would probably say I'm caring on the bad side. She'd probably say that she would say I'm controlling, but the only reason why she would say that is because mm -hmm. she uh, posts very explicit pictures on Instagram. And I was like, you know, I understand that you're happy with your body and mm -hmm. I support you, mm -hmm. but at the same time, can we like dial it back just a little bit? Okay. And she didn't like that. Interesting. <laughs> Wow, you about to hit the button on me? No, I got scared, I swear. <laughs> to defend her. She didn't press the button. You didn't. I didn't, and I've been pressing it. <laughs> I have been Oh, I've been, I've been seeing the cycle. Hmm. Do you think you two would be interested in going on a second date? I'd be interested in going on a second date. <laughs> I too would be interested in going on a second date. <laughs> you seem like you actually mean it when you say like you're a very caring person, sometimes you care too much. And you kind of seem like you're really putting yourself out there, like you're not really holding back. And I really like that, I admire that. Uh, your smile, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like people make shit up when they compliment other people that they meet on the first date. Fuck you, no. <laughs> she made all that shit up. And the whole time in the guy's brain, he's like monkey clapping. She's like, pretty. <laughs> you girl, pretty. <laughs> Thank you. All right, I'm gonna light up one more time. And if you don't press me, you win the button. I'm not even gonna look at it, so if you hit it. Ow. No way! No way! She's evil! Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Oh my god, bow down to the god of the button. Nobody shall be good enough for her. Nobody shall be good enough for her. Oh my god! Oh fuck, and she's looking at the camera too while doing it. Holy shit. She's like if Hungrybox was a woman in playing this game. She's doing it for the content here. She's girl boss through like half the crowd. She's gonna have to do second dates on the first date. Why'd you reject me? I don't know, I just couldn't get over the little like thing that you were talking about with your ex. I kind of do like to post freely. I don't the fucking question you asked? So it's a bait question? What would your ex say about you? I'm too caring, I love too much. I fuck too well. Is that what the answer should be? It gave maybe the tamest answer of all time. I'm a little controlling. And then backed it up with evidence that is pretty tame. She posted pictures that made me uncomfortable. I asked her if she could post less pictures that were like that. And she didn't enjoy that. God damn! I don't like anybody to hold me back. That was kind of my issue with my last relationship. So as much as I Fair. like everything else in the conversation and I really wanted it to work, I just don't want to be in another situation where I feel like I'm held back at all. I'm really sorry. Like, it's cool. I get it. I get it. You know, I let her keep posting though. Uh, she won't do it with me. I'm, yeah, so, yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, he's so bad. <laughs> he's so bad. I feel bad. He's so bad. He's like, I let her fucking post too. Like, I fucking... Not only did I have to deal with it back then, I got to deal with the ramifications now. I guess you can post whatever the fuck you want. I'm really sorry. I'm not even going to follow my ex-girlfriend on Instagram. I don't want to see what she posts. I don't give a shit. I'll let her keep posting, though. She won't do it with me. I'm sorry. Dumb as hell. Stupid ass show. Fucking got out of my bubble to do this stupid ass button thing. Fucking lame as hell. I'm sorry. A no matcher? I didn't know that was possible. Top G. Top G. Never let a man fuck me. Top G in the building. Wow. I've never, ever seen a no dater. 
Holy. The only person who could ever go on the button and not get a date. Shoo. Aren't there more dudes? I mean, we can see the circle. I they I think they fill multiple episodes in one day though. I mean, it looks like she made it through almost everyone. One, two. I don't I don't remember seeing this guy. But this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. Yeah. Every guy except for these two, I think. Hello. They might cut out some too, I don't know. I'm Abby. I'm Cody. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. What do you do for like your hobbies? Holy shit. Yeah, none of the other women got a chance. That would be the problem, I think, if the button was changed so that if you press it, you leave, is that there are people who would never get a chance. Let's take a look at the comments. This show has turned away from a dating show into a competition, though. True. <laughs> Locked in behind the scenes, have me dying. They're all rejecting each other for revenge. This is a perfect example of the current dating scene. Indecisive people wasting other people's times. Leading on, mixed signals, non-reasons, pettiness. This show is 100% real dating. <laughs> it's actually the greatest dating show of all time. This is literally like boys versus girls dodgeball game back in elementary school. Who can eliminate more from the other team? To reject someone based on a hat shirt combo, wild. True. I'm in a bad guys. I'm wholesome. I think you're toxic. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. I'm in a bad guys. I'm wholesome. I think you're toxic. Why did you reject me? Because I think you're not wholesome. <laughs> but you're in a bad guys. That makes no damn sense. I did not expect that ending. I never gasped audibly from the show before. God damn. That's crazy. This is the only human who I could ever imagine going on cut and leaving without a date. That's crazy. Someone said watch the fishing bowl from cut. You know what? I'll pass on this one. Watch another one. Do you know how like we could? There's one I haven't watched. What? We could watch it, but, but you know, I almost think that was a good one. I almost think we ended there. The other one is. This one. Embarrassing fact about Von Rico. He used to study porn as a virgin. Yeah. It's a really short one. It wouldn't be enough for a video. I wouldn't put it in a YouTube video. This would just be if you guys on stream want to watch it. Or we can not watch it and instead watch the Sunny V2 video about um, Planet Fitness. I, I, I'm literally indifferent. I don't mind. It's it, 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 it's funny. I, I I think they're kind of funny. I doubt this one will be as good as the last one though, because like the last one's crazy. Pogo suck will happen regardless, just at the end. There's no rush to jump to that. All right, everyone's waiting to watch it. I'll watch it. Welcome to the button, a speed dating show. It's eight when minutes. It's quick, chat. Red, it's quick. Either player may press it and swap out their date for a new person. Get out of here. I'm getting toasty. If two people can last on a date for 10 minutes, they win an all expenses paid second date. This is the button. Oh my God, wait. She's even dumber because she would have had an all expenses paid second date. Like, I don't give a fuck if I don't find someone attractive. If we can just get a free dinner in a free movie, call it a day. That's an easy W.
I would never turn down free food. To this day, I would never turn down free food. That's crazy. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, how about you? Good. My name's Deja, what's your name? I'm Grady, nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. Dude, Grady kind of looks like Yeti. Grady looks like Yeti. So, off the Little bat, bit. three words that come to mind. Um, Sex. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Grady, I thought you were nice. <laughs> uh, music? Oh, I do make music. You do? Do you make music? I play the trombone. Oh. <laughs> That's tight. That is, this guy's a giga chad. Playing the trombone might be the single hottest thing that he could have said. Oh, nice. I sing and I play guitar. What are your red flags? Ooh. Oh. To be honest, I first time on a date, you know, I don't really have any red flags It's your until. first date? Yes. Why? No one ever came to me or no luck on the dating sites, you know? A lot of people are going to be in this spot in life. A lot of people haven't gone on a date before. A lot of people aren't a, a conventionally attractive person or aren't socially equipped with the tools they need to get a date. Or didn't seek it and were obsessed with something in their life so that it was never a thought to them. And then they enter a spot where they're much older and it's it's a little more difficult. And I always internally cringe a bit, even though she seems wonderful and she's being very sweet at, at this conversation. Because it feels like she's almost babying him through it and is going to snap click the red button because I don't feel that she's genuinely into him as a human. And I would also say this is, eh, I don't know. Actually, I'm 50-50 I'm on it. Half me wants to say that this is a terrible way to do a first date. But then also, like, it is just a skill you can grind. Like, you can just grind talking to humans, talking to women in uncomfortable situations. And maybe it's maybe it's good. You know, might as well. I kind of like it. You know what? Actually, I've, I've flipped. I'm now fully on the side of this is kind of a good idea. No. So you're the guy that likes the girls to come to him. Or I just haven't found the right one yet. Okay, okay. Sorry. Oh, she tried to wait too. She almost like gave him the opportunity to reject her, but he didn't want to do it. And so she's like, I gotta. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're good. Why did you reject Grady? He said he only has been on one date. I don't want to like ruin him. He's so sweet. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. She was very nice sweet. You. Nice Hi. to meet you. My name's Jason. Jason? Jason's I'm back. Deja. Nice to meet you. I've heard Jason's Damn, wholesome. You do smell good. I d wait, who said that? Give each other a little. Okay, well, that. Wait, 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 wait. What the fuck did Grady say when he got back? Can we get the behind the scenes? Of Gr Grady comes back. He's like, Jason, I got great news. <laughs> Jason, you want to flare those nostrils, my man. <laughs> she smells amazing. <laughs> <laughs> You pass the sniff test? Fun fact, Jason picks his chin hairs out. Oh. It's just something I do at the time. Like, if I'm sitting there watching TV, I'll just go like this a little bit. Okay. If you want a eat. secret? I pick my eyelashes out. Oh, look. When I'm bored, I'm like. <laughs> See, yeah, that's cool. I used to do the same with my eyebrows, because if I just do this and I pull my eyebrow, hair will come out. And that always, that always blew my mind. But then I realized that it wasn't coming back. <laughs> so I... I should do it less. And then I'll make a wish on I thought I was the only weird one there. I'm, I'm like, sorry. Oh, it's all good. I'll take it. Uh, you missed out on Jason. What's meant to be will be. You're handsome. Oh, thank you. You're beautiful. I didn't know what to say. You look, you look amazing. You got great teeth. Thank you. <laughs> okay. You can't have a better entry. This is an amazing start. We are we are talking a two stock lead. We're talking we have the bomb planted A site. It's five to two. I don't know how you throw this right now. <laughs> so how you doing today? I'm good. That's I'm good. nervous. Yeah, really, same here. Really? Like I don't know what to say because like just looking at you and all that, I'm like I'm shaking right now. Who's that? Beautiful. <laughs> okay, too much. Too much. Way he's fumbling. He's fumbling. You got you. Come on. If the only thing you're saying is complimenting the looks, you're never going to have any conversation. It's too much. We've gone too far. So you make me like... <laughs> Fun because tongue can go down to his chin. Yep. 
I can show you like. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm not hitting it after that. <laughs> Embarrassing fact about Von Rico. Wait a second. Wait a second. This holy shit. Holy shit. I didn't know he had that. My man's had an op ready. Used to study porn as a virgin. Yeah. As a virgin? Yeah, because was it? Um I like to satisfy my partner and all that. So I don't want to stick to like one or two moves. If I see a position that I like, oh, yeah, I might as well oh, write it down. It. Yeah, try yeah. it. Yeah, every guy does this, but you shouldn't say you do this. Because it also is rarely applicable, what you learn in porn anyway. I hate to bring this up, but let's talk about age. Oh, okay. Hey. How old are you? I'm 22. Oh, okay. How about you? I'm 27. Okay. You ever dated an older woman? Uh -huh. I feel like the selling point for me with him is that he seems really mature for his age. You haven't dated an older woman, though, so you don't really know if you like it. Exactly. So let's do a second date and find out. It's all like learning experience and all that, you know, so that's all. Are you going to teach him? Okay, wow, she, the button is so fucking horny. Holy shit, dude. Jerk off and come back to us. My man, you are out of pocket. His tongue could lick your pussy. <laughs> he could fuck you real good like a porn star. <laughs> hey, you're an older lady. Will you teach him? <laughs> naughty, naughty. It's like if Austin Powers was inside of there. Sounds like he could teach me a few things. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I could, but you could teach me a lot more, so I don't know. You All right, back. I have a proposition. This is going well, right? Yeah. Are you willing to go on two other dates? And if those don't go well, I'll bring Von Rico back. Okay, we can try it. Do you think the other two guys might win her over? This is like, hey, can we farm to the eight minute mark? Because we're four minutes into our YouTube video and you guys have already wanted to go on a second date. So we need ad revenue. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> All right, let's shake on it. All right. <laughs> See, I like that. And you got humor too. I like that. Thank you. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. I'm Deja. Okay. The only way this video is fucking godlike content is if she pivots, she finds a new guy, and she goes on a date with a new guy instead of Von Rico. Cause that would be that would be insane. I unfortunately don't think Dog Sniffer McGee is gonna gonna pull here. He's not gonna. <laughs> Deja, cool. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, what's your name? Uh, Cole. Cole. Yes. Did you say oh, that? Oh yeah, yeah. People uh, <laughs> all the time think I'm saying like cool. And yeah, I thought you were saying cool. Like you're. <laughs> I get that all the time. Cole, say something that's vulnerable. <laughs> Ooh, I'm a mama's boy for sure. I think that's kind of a positive though. Mama's boy? Okay, what makes you a mama's boy? Is a mama's boy a positive? I don't know if that is a positive. I think that's like one of the um, oldest tales that breaks relationships is the mother-in-law is overbearing in a relationship. Like, I think the guy might think it's a positive, but usually it's like it can be weirdly competitive with the mother-in-law. Uh... I, my mom is like a, a great mom for sure. Um, I was just, she was, she raised me and my sister as a single mom. And I think that kind of built our connection. Ooh, okay. And that's, that's the vulnerable part there. I love that. Sorry. No, it's okay. She's trying to get right back to Von Rico. <laughs> so nice to meet Let's you. get right back to Von Rico. All right, good luck. My workout. All right. Last date. Uh, if you're still into, what's his name? Federico. Von Rico. Von Rico. <laughs> Something Rico. <laughs> bum, bum, what is his name? Tell me. You'll have to ask him when he comes back. That'll be awkward. Oh, yeah. oh shit. Are those your real eyes? They are. Wow! <laughs> Where did that come from? Honestly, uh, I don't know. I'm mixed with a whole lot of things. Really? Yeah. Wow, I, I feel like I can't like stare away. I feel like it's, <laughs> it's taking me in. Uh, what do you do for work? Oh, uh, right now, I'm a low voltage te technician. But I'm also learning to be a, a bartender. So I just oh, okay. Because I, I was like, I, you said you're a bartender or a top golfer. Are you lying? 
just started bartending at Top Golf. So. All right. If you were to make a drink for me, what would you make? Mm. Vodka like straight. Do you like make your drink strong or sweet? I like sweet. Sweet. Mm. I like sweet and I like spicy. Have you ever had a lemon drop? Mm, when I was 21. Oh. <laughs> Wait, how do you know? <laughs> I'm 27. You're 27? That's cool. Oh how much do you weigh and what's your net worth? <laughs> yeah, real quick. Okay. Wow, you look young. I, I think I am young. <laughs> I mean, you look younger than 27. Really? How old yeah. do I look? I thought you were like 23. Sorry. I understand. But your eyes are beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> it looks like a day with Von Rico. Thank you so much. They just delayed it. They just, that they one stalled. Feel nice, guys. Literally stalled. Why? His eyes are very sincere. How do you pronounce your name again? <laughs> no, don't give it to her. <laughs> Ask her. Do you remember my name? Well, he it's just said it. Cook? Yeah. So that was fucking weird. Shut the fuck up. God, I hate the button. God, I hate him. Enrico. What's her name? I'm pretty sure we didn't. I didn't ask. Oh, that's okay. But what is your name? Deja. Deja. I like that. Yeah. So I'm still here. I like it. I like that too. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> They're so cute yeah, together. I'm like, okay, this is getting... They're blushing. All right, I'm gonna light up one last time, and if you don't press, you win. They're crushing right now. How messed up would it be if you were like, ah, oh, stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, you have won the button. Woo! Right, that was an easy one. That was a no sweat one. There's a restaurant right there. You can take us here. <laughs> All right, was this a good experience? You said Seattle? You got a trip? Damn. Uh, all right. What was, what was, what was, what was, what was, what was, uh, Sunny V2? All right. Now, normally, 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 uh, I have been a big critic of Sunny V2 for a couple Ooh. of reasons. The, the biggest one is that I feel feel like Sunny V2 searches out negativity and puts it on a pedestal in harmful ways. And it's like a roulette wheel of what creator is not doing as well after having a successful 5, 10, 20 year career. And it, and it, and it feels very toxic sometimes. Uh, and, and less substantial a lot of other times. Like I've seen... Um, one of the videos that made me the most mad was he made a video about Mr. Beast's brother and it felt like he was scared to actually critique Mr. Beast's brother the whole time because I guess he's made a lot of videos about Mr. Beast, um, like entire history of Mr. Beast, I, I guess. So, I, And then the Ninja video, it, like the, the takeaway was like, Ninja should have just kept on playing Fortnite and if he had kept playing Fortnite like Cypher PK, his views would have stayed high. And I was like, that also doesn't feel like a good takeaway. Why are you guys saying how to tie a tie? What are you talking about? Your citrus? Oh, no, no, no. I share this computer with someone else. It's not... I've no, I don't need look guys I tied Atriox tie at his wedding I don't need to learn how to tie a tie all right I know how to tie a goddamn tie <sighs> shows right now I don't have a tie here I can just do this call Atriox Big A, I'm live in my chat saying I don't know how to tie a tie. You don't know how to tie pie? That's what they're saying. 
What does that What does that mean? They're saying I don't know how to tie a tie because in my search history it says how to tie a tie, but it, I didn't look that up. Oh. I, I want you to back <laughs> yeah, me up. Yeah, you can tie a tie. Hey, hey, chat. There's one thing I'll back this man up till the day I die. You can tie a mean Windsor, half Windsor. You might even have other tricks up your sleeve. Full Windsor. Trinity yeah. knots. And let me tell you, I, if there's two things I can do is tie a tie and play the shit out of Swain. And Big A knows that. <laughs> I hate to admit it, but it is true. The man is undefeatable on Swain, the GOAT. Mm -hmm. To lose to him is no shame to anyone because it's one of the greatest Swains there could ever be. It's a, it's a natural talent. Slight exaggeration, but LeBron point taken. In basketball. Okay, big exaggeration. Uh, yeah. But yeah, tie for sure. Tire. Uh, are you watching this Gen G game? I am. I'm worried about me too. My friend jumping off a cliff, dude. It would be so hype if they won. So I'm actually heartbroken that DRX is kind of crushing. Yeah, we'll see. I, why would your chat think you couldn't tie a tie? By the way, where, where it, it was in my up? search history. I have no idea why it's in there. <laughs> How to tie a tie is in your search history? <laughs> yeah, but you you were there with me. I didn't look it up when I was with you. I did it raw. He did do it raw, but I have no evidence. No, 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 no. Don't be on their side. I feel like you're – no, 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 no. You're switching to their side. You're switching to their side now. Well, I'm just like – you could have looked up a YouTube video. I no. No, <laughs> no, I couldn't have. No, I couldn't have. Okay. All right. Okay. Wait, wait. You, yeah. Wait, Gen G about to get three. Oh. All right. All right, man. Hey, if he doesn't – if Gen G doesn't win this, we need to – <laughs> have someone check in on stands. We need to drive to stands. <laughs> yeah. Because we were supposed to stream together today, and he said, I'm going <laughs> to. He was so worried about what he would do on stream if they lost that I I don't know. He canceled his stream. Oh, really? Yeah, because people so, in our chat were like, Where's the stands watch party? And I was yeah, like, We were going to do a watch party, and he messaged me that he's too worried about what will happen if they lose. He'll be <laughs> such a negative Nancy on stream that he thinks it'll be bad. <laughs> I'm so, worried about what I'll do if they lose is so funny, though. Has he said uh, that he's coming tonight? Uh, I, I think it's totally yeah. contingent on this game. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Right, I'll see you tonight, though, right? Uh, all right. Talk to you soon. Yes, sir. All right. Peace. Peace. God damn. I was with Stans. So Stans is, uh, if he's anything, he is two things. He's a giant fan of the Phoenix Suns, and he's a giant fan of of Gen G, who is right now playing a League of Legends game to make it to the finals of Worlds to go up against T1. They are down two games to one, and they need to win two. So their they're back's against the wall right now. But when I was with him in when the Phoenix Suns lost in playoffs, he, like, he like changed, like, characters. He immediately went from, like, like having a good time to when they were down to, like, like, like just being, like, like, distraught. He looked lost. He looked just, just fucking horrified. I've never seen the man. He left immediately. Wait, Atrox said I love you? Did he? Love you too, XD. Uh, but yeah, it was crazy. You didn't say it back? I'll say it to him tonight. I say it to him way more than he says it to me. So if Stans, uh, and it's looking like his team might lose now because they're down. I mean, they're not down that much. They're down one k gold. I don't know. They're down one k gold. They're down a. They're down two drakes. They're down. Oh no, they're down two dragons. Excuse me. They're down one k gold and two dragons. And a kill. Ooh, it's looking bad. It's looking bad. To understand the overwhelming... All right, anyway, to back up where we were before, I am generally anti Sunny V2 because Sunny V2's videos to me seem like overwhelmingly negative with no real trade-off other than the views that, that he gets from them. And I can see a clear reason why because if you go to his oldest videos, you can see that a lot of his videos were negative and positive and it would switch. But his negative ones would get way more views than the positive ones. So he would have Boogie... Worst mindset, 1.5 mil. Modern Wars of Genius, less than 400k. I swatted, 1.6 mil. Penguin Zero's Witty, 500k. Unstoppable Rise of Friendly Geordies, 115k. Awful content, 755k. So the, it's like, it, it's the same thing that 
you know what uh, news companies went through where negative uh, negative stories get way more attention than positive stories. And this has been proven. This is actually something we learned in journalism school uh, because there was a famous news station that did only positive news for I, I, some period of time, a week, a month, whatever, and the ratings plummeted. So they had to quickly switch to go back to like the negative, the fear mongering, the, 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 the scary things, the things that parents need to know, otherwise you're in danger. Uh, and it is no different on YouTube. Right, so I understand Sunny V2 is playing a game. So I'm not, I'm not surface level mad at somebody for playing the game how it's meant to be played. What I don't like is specifically how it takes creators in the space and uh, and it tears them down. And I think Sunny V2 is maybe getting a bit better about that, but for a while it was just like it was like everybody's career on YouTube and just shitting on them when they are already to me at a low point, you know. So it's like, it's it's just literally spin the wheel. Who is down on views? Let's make a video about them. And and I haven't I haven't watched them personally, but I've seen some reactions to like his other videos, like final 24 hours of uh, Mac Miller's life. And that video seemed a lot better because it seemed like it had enough research. So I, I'm giving him a chance here on how Planet Fitness became hated by the world. Because I can never defend a mega corporation anyway. So if the entirety of this video is him shitting on a megacorp, I'm not that stressed about it. Let's jump into it. Hatred for Planet. To understand the overwhelming hatred for Planet Fitness, you first need to understand their business model. Planet Fitness was created with the goal of having a non-competitive culture opposite to that of something like Gold's Gym, where bodybuilding is glorified. Everything in Planet Fitness is catered towards the less experienced beginner, and on the surface, this makes Planet Fitness look like a fairly positive place. However, as we look into the methods they use to achieve this beginner-friendly image, you'll start to understand why their approach also receives an insane amount of backlash. This image posted to the Gym Memes Facebook page shows a note attached to a Planet Fitness leg press reading, We do not cater to bodybuilders or heavyweight lifters. Please help us keep our non-intimidating environment by loading only four weight plates on each side, with this note showing that not only are Planet Fitness trying to cater to beginners, but they're also trying to repel anyone who might consider themselves an intermediate or advanced lifter. In I think era of Arnold and like, I don't know, like the, the, the rise of bodybuilding... Working out was very intimidating for someone who wasn't, like, a naturally gifted man. I think for, like, a long time it was like that. Uh, I think things have changed dr dramatically since then. Things are a lot different now. So there might have been an era of time where Planet Fitness was viable. But now if you go to, like, a Gold's Gym, like, the, the most jacked gym bros will sometimes be the most uh, nice guys you'll meet. Like they'll be the they'll be the they'll be the sweetest people who are like willing to help you, give you tips, and and walk you through your exercises. I I, I think society's just a, a whole lot more accepting, and bodybuilding is a whole lot more um, popular. In addition to requesting that members only use a maximum of four plates on the leg press, when I mean naturally gifted, I mean like you have a body type like Hassan versus a body type like Aiden. Planet Fitness gyms also feature no squat rack, no deadlifting area, and no bench press, with the Smith machine being the only alternative for those looking to perform these exercises, or if you're desperate enough, you can evidently use the machine where you'd usually do dips. The gym requests that members refrain from doing T-rows, overhead presses, clean and jerks, deadlifts, and even requests that members don't do supersets, which is achieved in part by maxing out their dumbbells at 75 pounds or 34 kilos, with this number being an even lower 60 pounds or 27 kilos, depending on which franchise you go to. As an alternative, Planet Fitness Aiden, my roommate, not Aiden Ross. These gyms are instead filled with excessive amounts of cardio equipment, with a possible goal of encouraging their members to avoid the weight training area altogether. So basically, Planet Fitness doesn't allow you to actually get stronger. The only gym that doesn't like people going to the gym. I went to Planet Fitness as a joke. Wait, okay, I know that's a meme, but every gym operates with this exact mentality. Every single gym have more members to the gym than they have capacity for the gym. And their whole business model operates by trying to get people to subscribe to a membership that they won't keep up with actively because they wouldn't even be able to support the amount of people that they have. Almost every gym. And if they and if they don't have that, then they're probably not a successful gym or a very small gym perhaps. But there's a there's a good planet uh money video about this. That's BS. 
I, I don't care to prove you right or wrong. You can check out the Planet Money video, uh, but they, they made a whole video about it. That's why it's, like, memed on how hard it is to cancel a gym membership. Wrong? I, I don't care. <laughs> actually get stronger. The only gym that doesn't like people going to the gym. I went to Planet Fitness as a joke with one of my friends because your first day you get free to test out and I was deadlifting 360 on the Smith machine and I put pads underneath the weight so it wouldn't slam and the manager oh, kicked sick. me out because I was noticeably stronger than everyone else and creating an intimidating atmosphere. Planet Fitness having a problem with people who are noticeably stronger than everyone else is something that can also be observed in countless different YouTube videos. I find all these videos disingenuous because it's like clearly ripped people trying to go to Planet Fitness, which has big fucking letters on the wall that's saying like, hey, we don't judge. And then trying to max out weights and be loud as possible to get kicked out for a viral video. Like, like you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, it's going to happen. I will say I am anti Planet Fitness because my experience with them. I went to Planet Fitness one time because my mom had a membership there. And when I was at Planet Fitness, uh, I, I was just doing like overhead. I'm big into tries. So I was doing like an overhead, like a, like kind of like a skull crusher. And I think it was with a, with a barbell, if I remember correctly. Uh, and, I, and I went m like max until I could not do another one, right? I was out of the capacity for my arms to do one. And so I couldn't lift it over my head. So I like, I, I crouched down and I dropped it from like, like two feet off the ground. I went, and it went, doof. And I pause for a moment and I try to get up and I'm rubbing my arm. And then immediately I hear these, this giant alarm go off and it goes, I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. and I look up and there's this big red circle and it says lunk alarm. And what I discovered is that there's an alarm that exists in planet fitness proudly displayed usually at the back of every gym that is sounded off by one of the staff member manually at the front of the gym if they feel like someone is being a lunk, a.k.a. is just, like, lifting weight too, too loudly, grunting, dropping weights, uh, just just generally being, like, uh, like, a, like a stereotypical bodybuilder. And I was, like, I was, like, a, a bit mortified, you know, because I'm not even that strong. I'm not strong. And, and I was, I was, I was not, I am way stronger now than I was then. So it was like early into me working out too. I'd been working out for maybe like 18 months, 22, two years at that time. So I was like, I was mind blown. I was mind blown about this. And I always thought Planet Fitness was dumb since then. I never went back. I went back once, but almost rare, uh, never. I wasn't there a week and I was told you intimidate the other patrons and uh, we don't like your type here. For example, four times world's strongest man Brian Shaw was kicked out of Planet Fitness whilst making a fairly relaxed YouTube video with this piece of content pairing another titled Planet Fitness cancelled my membership after five. <laughs> I love, but yeah, it's fairly relaxed. Look, again, every single bodybuilder, like, first of all, if you're a bodybuilder and you're going to Planet Fitness as your membership, unless that is somehow the only gym in town, which is almost never the case, like, I think you're either dumb or know what you're doing. You know what I mean? Like, I think it's like going in and being like, they said they hate lunks. Check this out. And, and it's, uh, it's like, it's, I, I think it's just farming the instant million plus views if you get kicked out. Brian Shaw is an exception because he's very, 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 very sweet. Yeah. 500 pound bench press, cementing their dislike for those who go to the gym to push their limits. As an extra measure to avoid intense exercise, there it Planet is. Fitness also has their notorious lunk alarm, which can be triggered by Planet Fitness staff anytime they see a member working out too intensely. <laughs> Lunk alarm is actually pretty goaded. If it goes off, it means that you're making gains and the staff is just <laughs> making sure that everyone knows that you're built different. That's but funny. while this person managed to frame the lunk alarm as beneficial, on a wider scale, the concept has been criticized pretty damn heavily. The alarms are set to trigger when they detect muscles actually contracting. Planet Fitness, you're being too loud. Also Planet Fitness, use a tornado warning sign to replace the noise of normal gym activities. This alarm is infinitely more disruptive than the clanking of weights or grunts of strain lifters. It's also startling, which can cause severe injuries to anyone under load and in addition to simply having the lunk alarm there are countless comments describing ridiculous situations during which the alarm has been sounded i accidentally dropped my drink off the treadmill and the lunk alarm went off i got kicked out the no. lunk alarm goes off if you accidentally drop a pen all right guys i'm a plan of fitness watch how ridiculous this is really a pen 
can. But to be fair to Planet Fitness, both gym members and the staff themselves have often stated in videos and comments that the lunk alarm is rarely ever used. Yes, there is a lunk alarm. However, I've never even heard it go off. I it, The thing is, the lunk alarm is manually activated, so it's totally dependent on which location you're at and who's running it. I've worked it. I think the pen thing was super fake. That was obviously fake. I don't know how Sunny V2 didn't notice that was fake. Like it was like so satire, yeah. Two different Planet Fitness locations, and we never once sounded the lunk alarm on people for anything. I think it depends on the individual locations, whether they're franchise or not. We were told that we weren't allowed to use it, that it was more of a novelty item. I went to Planet Fitness for six months and never heard the alarm. I think it mostly depends on the manager you get. Treat the alarm as a sign of a good or bad manager. If that alarm sounds, it's time to find another gym. As a person who works at Planet Fitness, we never set the lunk alarm off. We don't pull the lunk alarm. We don't pull it because there's no purpose to, like, you know, on the flip side too, we like to have fun. Sometimes as soon as we just hear anything, boom, we just pull it. And it's different when your manager's there and when your manager's not there. However, while the alarm can be dismissed as somewhat of a meme, drinking out of a gallon water jug as well as their dress code are both something that Planet Fitness does take extremely seriously. In the previously mentioned video where Brian Shaw gets kicked out of Planet Fitness, a sign can be seen which reads, dress code, to maintain our no gym intimidation environment, please no jeans, boots, sandals, or string tank tops thank you. Other banned items of clothing include do-rags, skull caps, bandanas, and judging from internet anecdotes, this dress code is definitely the next reason behind why the gym is so hated. I used to have a Planet Fitness membership and on multiple occasions they asked me to go home and change my gym outfit to something less revealing, I was wearing a tank top and shorts lol, or they would give me one of those hideous white t-shirts with their logo to cover myself up. In this video titled Planet Fitness Fail Why I Cancelled My Membership, the girl explains that she was confronted by staff for simply having a one gallon water bottle one of the workers did a beeline for me one time while I'm working out, interrupts my set, and is like, oh, you can't have that gallon of water here. Whilst no another member was weird. denied entry altogether because his water bottle was too big to fit in their designated cup holder. So I'm in here at Planet Fitness with this bottle, and Miss Ashley does not want to allow me to work out because she says my bottle would not fit into her cup holder. Imagine asking someone to leave because they're drinking water and being healthy. For being a judgment-free facility, all they do is judge. Why bring a gallon? I mean, a lot of people who do bodybuilding carry around gallon uh, jugs. It's like, it's not, you'll, you'll see a guy. There's always a gallon jug guy. And it's usually because they try to drink the entire thing or maybe two of them in a day or something. So they just, they just carry it around all day. There's always gallons. There's always, yeah. There's always gallon Gary's walking around. And this is why their approach is so controversial. The judgment-free slogan is targeted toward their main demographic, beginners, but in order to achieve this branding, they have to be judgmental toward anyone who isn't a beginner, making their approach incredibly hypocritical. Yeah. I think everything that Planet Fis Fitness stands for is a foil to what Gold's Gym is. And so the 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 entire goal is if Planet Fit uh, if Gold's Gym has string bean tank tops in gallon water jug people and people dropping weights in super setting. Let's try to make a place that is the antithesis to that so that somebody who's like never worked out in their life would enjoy it more. I I don't know if it's a hot take, but I'll admit it is intimidating to go to a gym where the people are all ripped. That's straight up intimidating. Like my first times going to the gym uh, were, were, were stressful. I remember it. I remember being embarrassed to do certain exercises because I wasn't positive on the form and I would look at my phone and look at videos of the form and then try to do it. And I didn't deadlift for a long time. I would do like assisted deadlift machines, uh, because I didn't want people to see me do it wrong. That's why you ask for help. If I struggle asking for help, I totally believe that there are millions of other people who do the same. So, I think the idea of a Planet Fitness isn't... It doesn't spawn from a bad idea. I think their execution's bad. You know what would be a lot more helpful than than the lunk alarm and, and the dress code and all that? Is like competent people, staff at Planet Fitness or any gym who are ready and available to tell you how to work on form for exercises. Cause like when you go to a gym, it doesn't feel like the gym staff is someone you can necessarily ask for. Like they don't seem the most available, not a personal trainer even. 
I don't mean like a personal trainer who walks you through a routine. I mean like I've never deadlifted before in my fucking life. Can you just show me how to deadlift? I don't need you to show me a routine. I just want to know how to do a deadlift. And that would feel a lot better. And I think Planet Fitness is like, okay, well, rather than having human costs to do that, let me just stack it full of machines that can't be fucked up or can't be fucked up as much. So no judgment except you get to judge. That's right. We won't judge or criticize you unless you're someone in shape in a gym. No judgment zone unless we are the ones judging. Planet Fitness, no judging. Also Planet Fitness judges anyone who actually wants to work out properly, with this criticism also being bundled in with more sinister theories about why Planet Fitness fights tooth and nail in order to maintain their judgment-free branding. If you think about it, the entire concept is an incredible idea. By keeping the judgmental people away, you only attract the insecure who pity themselves. At the same time, you keep away any serious lifter who could show what is possible, therefore reassuring these half-heartedly gym goers that what they're doing is absolute peak performance. The well, I think the flaw to that argument is that you're, you're assuming that people are or should be seeking peak performance. When I think half of going to the gym is just actually feeling good. Like, I don't think you need, like, peak fucking performance. I don't think it's the goal of the gym is to maximize the potential of your body. I think for a lot of people, it's have a healthier lifestyle and then feel good about yourself. So I don't, I don't know if I think this is a good comment. I think it's a bad comment. The picture of roid raging testosterone monsters is planted into people's heads, thus binding them even stronger to that gym. Financially speaking, it's a masterpiece. Perhaps this is a bit of a conspiracy theory, but it's also possible that it's in Planet Fitness's best interest to what keep their members comment. out of shape so they'll continue to pay for membership. On the first Monday of every month, Planet Fitness hosts Pizza Monday, during which free pizza is given to members before, after, and even during their workouts. Then similarly, on the second Tuesday of every month, Planet Fitness has Bagel Tuesday following the same concept but with free bagels i think this is a ploy to get people to keep their memberships because again the, the the gym model works by selling more subscriptions to the gym than you have capacity for the gym and so you want people to not cancel and so if they can just keep their gym membership and exercise it by going once a month and then showing up for the pizza day and they get that value from the pizza day and that keeps them subscribed. That's that's why they're doing it, I think. Planet Fitness makes a pretty decent argument for why they consider this to be acceptable, stating on their website, it's okay to indulge in a treat every once in a while. The truth is one slice of pizza isn't gonna destroy a month's worth of work in the gym, which is why Planet Fitness Pizza Monday and Bagel Tuesday only roll around once a month. A night of binge drinking does ruin a week of working out, though. Moderation is key, yet, as you might expect, these free junk food days have come with even more public backlash. I'm doing, like, squats and deadlifts, and the smell of, like, a hundred pizzas is coming at me. It's just not right, Planet That'd be hard. Fitness. Come on. The pizza being in the gym, it's just not right. They don't go together. Offer free salads. Offer free, I don't know, protein shakes. But pizza? No, Planet Fitness. Pizza at a gym is like having AA meetings in a bar. Nothing like getting a good workout than enjoying a high calorie pizza afterwards, hashtag gains. It's actually a genius tactic. You go there to lose weight and get in shape. They give you pizza, you gain some weight. You have to go back to lose that weight. Keeps you in that gain weight, lose weight cycle. Planet Fitness not actually wanting their members to lose weight might also explain some of the other things that- That's a fucking slice of pizza. I think we're being a little dramatic here. <laughs> They're, they're talking like it's like like you eat one slice of pizza and you're a fat piece of shit now. <laughs> I do think it is funny to have pizza at a gym. Like, I think that idea is a bit ridiculous. It, but I don't think it's as bad as, like, it's ice cream day. You know what I mean? I, I think it's a bit dramatic. That you can get with your membership, such as their total. The smell would be annoying. I 100% agree on that. Body enhancement chamber, which sounding like a pile of info. It would make more garbage, sense have like a protein apparently bar. Apparently helps day or work something. muscle groups, firms and tones the body, as well as helps reduce stress. However, these no effort scam machines just reiterate the type of customers that Planet Fitness are generally going after. Their cheap $10 per month memberships are seemingly designed to appeal to people who will go once or twice, never turn up again, but also never cancel their membership because, well, nobody can be bothered to go into. To the gym to cancel it when it's only 33 cents per day what do i have to do true which this is a gym problem this is not a planet fitness problem this is a gym problem but i guess planet fitness 
probably tries to maximize it with things like pizza day, bagel day, and low costs, and having so many. To cancel this membership, all you have to come into the location or else write a letter. The gym where I stay is 45 minutes away from where I live at. Is those the only two ways? Yes, those are the only two ways. Do you have uh, there's a gym called Anytime Fitness. It's not as popular. It's it's pretty similar to 24-hour fitness. Uh, and that gym is fucking miserable. I was, I was at that gym for like a year and maybe 18 months. And trying to cancel that gym during COVID was such a fucking chore. I think I paid for like 14 months before I finally managed to get my credit card to just stop paying... And then they sent a debt collector after me for like $20. Miserable. Fucking miserable. They just wouldn't let me cancel it over the phone. And I was like, it's mid we're mid-COVID here. You have to physically come in to cancel your membership. And judging from some of the videos on YouTube, it seems like this strategy is incredibly effective. I've given them $10 a month for four years. And I've never stepped foot inside Gym. Just to add a cherry on top of the cake, if you do want to cancel your membership, there are then massive fees involved, as well as other small charges that force you to spend more money before you officially leave. Make sure you don't break your contract, because if you break your contract, then it's $150 to get out of it. I see that I still got a payment, a charge from Planet Fitness. Now my membership is discontinued. Trying to get rid of gym memberships is basically trying to get rid of a boyfriend that won't go away or a nasty rash. Their business model is to sell memberships to people who don't go regularly. Think about it, there can be 10,000 members for that one gym, but if everyone goes, then the place would be so busy it would either violate legal codes or be so packed you wouldn't be able to work out because everyone is using something, and honestly, it's hard to blame them. Businesses are created to make money, and with over 2,000 gyms across the globe, Planet Fitness has been extremely successful, yet unfortunately they've done so whilst picking up the nickname Planet Fatness in the process. Yeah, that's Again, that's every gym business model. Uh, I think Planet Fitness is probably easier to point blame at because the demographic of people they go after are much less likely to work out than the people who might subscribe to Gold's Gym. You know what I mean? That video is fine. That video is not that bad. I, there's way more comments in a Sunny V2 video than I realized, though. It was basically all the memes about Planet Fitness rolled into one video. There's like the the big, what is it, three memes. Like the, the fact they do pizza day, the lunk alarm, and then um, how hard it is to cancel. Again, I think Planet Fitness only thrives as a foil to the, the main way gyms function. By the way, Gen G is looking absolutely fucked, and I'm feeling bad for my dog. Stands. Gen G is looking like it is GG right there. I'm feeling sad. Is there any unusual memes? Oh, there is. Wait, what? Oh, no, there's not. It's tomorrow. All right, it's tomorrow. We wait for tomorrow. Can you stream the end of the game? Legally, no. I can't. I can tell you what's happening, which is that Genji is down two towers to five. They're down 6K gold. They're down two dragons. They're down three kills and four kills. And they're about to be down another tower and probably lose an inhib here. Uh, it's GG. I, I don't know. I don't know the win condition for Genji at this point. It'd be like, Catch DRX out of position, get a team fight win. Seems pretty GG though. Is that bad? It is bad for Gen G. It is bad for them. Sag, Sag, Gen G. Oh, uh, they might even end right now. Yeah, it's Sag. I really wanted Gen G to win so it could be Gen G versus T1 in the finals because those are Aatrox and Sansa's favorite teams and I bought us all a suite to stay at. But sometimes it doesn't roll your way. And so now I'm a firm T1 fan. Not Tyler 1, the 
work. Yeah, this is over. Damn, they're making a comeback too. This is for sure over. GG DRX. Feels bad, man. Where's DRX? Is DRX Korea? Yeah, it's Korea. All right, chat, we got to beat this game. If you don't know, this is Pogo Stock. And I've been playing this game a long time now. And today we're going to beat it. We're going to beat it, in fact, in the next hour and 15 minutes. Don't believe me? Just keep watching. So you can see in the top right what percentage I'm at. So right now I'm at 25%. And I'm about to get to 80%. And I would say about... It shouldn't take me any more than about 5 minutes. TTS? Nah, not today. Cap? You think cap? All right, watch, 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 watch. Literally watch. If I'm not at... If I don't touch 80% in the next five minutes, I'll give 50 subs to chat. It is 5.43. Timer starts now. Okay. Well, you know what? Actually, let me play a five-minute song. Wait, wait, wait. Let me play a five-minute song. When the five-minute song ends, it counts. Hold up, 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 hold up. This song is exactly 5 minutes and 33 seconds. Don't believe me, it's called Dawn of the New World from Adam Arm Adam. Not free fifty gifted. You're about to watch me whip, but also Nene. All right, check the percentage. Top left. What are we at? What are we at? What are we at? Fuck me. Okay, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. God gives his strongest warriors his toughest challenges. Fine. I still got three minutes. I got a little unlucky. That's good. Fuck. It's all right. It's all right. We're fine. We're fine. Come on, come on, you son of a bitch. Not done yet. Check me out! Check me out! Wait for it! That's right, baby! I'm a god! 
damn 80% gamer. Two minutes and 57 seconds, you son of a bitches. Don't doubt me, I climb. I'm a phenomenal climber. Getting to 90? Free. Okay. Damn it. No. That's bad. Oh, baby. So we're gonna do a little bit of climbing here. <laughs> Fuck me. I can actually get back there it, it, by the end of the song. I can get to 80%, fall back to 30%, and get back to 80% within five minutes. <laughs> I'm not putting money on that. Nope. <laughs> Would I put money on it? Nah, probably not. Probably not. My movement is swag. Okay, the song's over. Where's my 50 subs? E to 10. Brutal. All right, new bet. I won't just get to 80%. I'll get to 83% by the end of this song. All I have to do is get to 83% once by the end of this song. Fifty gifted. How long is the song? Like three minutes.
I hit it. 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 I didn't hit it. Mods, did I hit it or not? No. Okay, well, just so you know, that's not the end of the song. <laughs> it actually plays for another 13 minutes right here. Yeah, this is, this is part of it. Not many people know this is the, the second part of this is the second half of it. And there it is. No scam, no delay. 50 gifted subs. The thing about me is I believe in honesty, integrity. And I want my debts to be paid. I can make back there by the end of the song. Oh. Nice. I can't believe I choked that. Banger? Never mind. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, why the movement crispy right now? That's fucking bad, baby. That's fucking bad. Oh, I thought I almost clutched that. That's bad. Oh, I clutch! Chill, 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 chill. We gotta really play a song that's about five minutes long that I have to get to ninety percent to. Here it is. The song of champions. The song that turns boys to men. The, the ice in my veins is frigid. I hate that fucking part of it, though. It's fine. We clutch. We get back. Getting back so hard.
no way I just did that. There's no way I just did that. There's no way I just choked that. Wait, we can clutch, we can clutch. A fucking godlike! Shit. Shit. I, I gotta stop spinning there. Oh, that sucks. All that swag clutching for this. But damn, was I hot right there. Okay, it's it, 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 I, like if it's not in the next five minutes, in the next half hour, this game's gonna be defeated. The, dude, the way I'm moving right now, oh, bro. I, I'm like a Newtonium fluid right now. Because I'm moving like water, but I'm so rock hard. I, I, I. Hold up, hold up, hold up. That might have been the actual. Ah! Wait, 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 I think I discovered something. I think I discovered something. This entire time, I've been trying to make a jump that has fucked me over again and again. And I thought it was a hard jump, and there's just nothing I can do about it. But that fall right there, a lot of you guys, if you're not pros at the game like I am, you might have missed it. I think I discovered a new way to beat the game. First, let's get back there. Let's let's quickly get back there, and then I'll discuss my points. If I could just sit in a like a time chamber for only 70 hours, I think I would use the time to be Persona. The game's bad, is it? I watched RT gameplay it a bit and it seemed fun. Oh, that sucks. Never mind. Clutched. I'm a stretch of 
Okay, 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 okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so where was I? 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 Okay, so I go through this, I go through this. Okay. So this is the last time I was here. Now I want you guys to watch carefully. I originally choke, then I get back. Now here, I go from the right, the left pedestal to the right pedestal, right? This is what I meant to do. I was meant to go from bing to bang. Okay? Bing to bang. Then not only do I have to do bing to bing, I have to go bing to bang, then I have to wait at bang! I have to wait! And I have to do a side flip on bang to get to bong. So I gotta go bing bang bong, but I have to double bang, which is hard. Because going from bing to bang requires a jump without a boost because of this giant pillar that descends. But what I did last time is I overshot it. And I got here. And I noticed that I, if I do that, I can get to here really easily. So what I could do is I could go from bing to spin, and then I go whoop, and then I go up to the legendary ooh, yikes. And from ooh, yikes, I can get up and skip bang altogether. So check this out, ready? Okay, it's gonna take me a little bit to get that jump, but you you had the idea. I I can't believe that I hit that. I with that song today, it kind of felt like kind of weird. No no no, I don't need the sad shit. This song is called "Behold a Pale Horse." My face when I see a pale horse. No. No. My movement, unheard of. I'm touching places on this map that have never been touched before. Part of the song where they find the pale horse. That's too far right, maybe? Just the perfect amount. Oh! Wait, one flipping everything? Oh!
All right. I am about to fucking crush this part. Let's go! We are about to attempt to do the famous mogul moves jump. Taking the watch off. Come on, baby, come on. It's too dangerous. It's okay. I can do this. So again, I jump from the bing, flip over the bang, hop up to the oof. Can, if you guys can bear with me, just technical difficulties. Um, the jump will be happening very shortly. Just the the currently there's we're just having some behind the scenes technical not not no skill issues. Just some. It's actually there's, so there's a bit of lint on my computer that I it actually blocked. This is gonna sound so weird. It actually blocked the one place I needed to jump. So we're just gonna get right back. We're just gonna get right back. Just gonna get right. That, okay, we're just gonna go right. We're gonna go over. We're just gonna get right. Come on. The fuck was that? What do you mean I gotta start? Back to bricks. Yahoo! Don't, don't you fucking oops back to bricks, man. Yahoo! Yahoo! TTS not on, by the way. That was a mod. Talking shit. Yahoo! Yahoo! It's okay. No, no, no. Because the, the time that I go from, from literally like 19 to 80 is insane. I go from 19 to 80... Like a goddamn Hugh Hefner wedding, you know? It weirds people out how quickly I can go from 19 to 80. Easy, easy, bang. Come on, come on. Look at me move. And I skip it too. Oh, fuckers, fuckers. I got greedy. Fuckers. My hubris. The indomitable human spirit shall thrive! Go! Go! Yes. Excellent. I was stuck! I was stuck! What the hell? Nar. Chill, 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 Okay, nice. Dude, I don't know how I'm moving like this today. 
I I'm doing movement that's never been seen in the game before. I, I swear to God, the mastery I have over this pogo stick. New strat. I, I literally just came with new strat off the top of my head. I'm crazy right now. Get me to 80. I'm about to win. Yeah, yeah. Fucker. Hey, you, you know what? The, the thing about me is I'm so mature, I know when to cut my losses. I know when to cut my losses right there. I, I knew I wouldn't have succeeded. Yeah, but I'm back already! Yeah! Yeah! Fucker! It's fine. <laughs> I'm not even mad. The thing about me is I'm so calm, cool, collected today. That's good. That's good! First try? First try? First try? Second try? Fuck! Sorry, 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 What's a, like, what's an absolute banger beyond all banger songs that can get me up? Can I get my child? You know what? You know what? Nobody, nobody sees this coming. You guys can guess songs for an hour and a half. You will never guess the song I'm about to put on. Check this out. I'm mining. Yes, sir. I'm mining. I'm mining. I'm mining. Mom, so I see, wonder why they kill me. I'm just mining in water. I just fell in a hole. Now I'm crying. Every server I go on, yeah, it's inspiring. Minecraft, 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 Minecraft. I'm just mining. I just bought an account and now I'm playing. Diamond sword so heavy, I feel like I'm holding a mountain. Do, do feel like Every that server, yeah, I go on. It's inspiring. Minecraft, 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 Minecraft. I'm just mining. Fuck, fuck, I'm fuck, with all my friends, fuck, yeah, we mining. Fuck, Not fuck. alone, spawning all these fuck. creepers, yeah, making them some clones. Found a nearby dog, feed him. A bone. Nope, not this song. Sing songs shit. Song is shit. My bad. Not your fault. It's my fault. Song's shit though. Shit. Oh my god, I'm stressed. 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 But I'm gaming. Shit. Shit. It's fine. Shit. It's fine. I need to focus. I need to focus. I, the thing about this game is it's half about knowing how to win, but almost 75% wanting to win, and 10% having the courage to win. 30% patience, 15% skilled. Oh, shit. 100% uh, reason to remember the name. Son of a bitch!
People are going to talk about this journey for decades to come. Long ago, after one of the first televised murders on YouTube.com's live streaming site, YouTube Gaming, Mogul Mail, after taking over Ludwig's channel, managed to become the first person to ever beat Pogo Stuck 4. This wasn't considered a full extension to the Pogo Stuck lineup, but Super Coup made sure to add some difficult aspects to make it another tough obstacle in the Fodian game series. Many gamers attempted to beat it, and although many were successful, only one gamer was able to beat it and have bitches. <laughs> His name? Mogul Mail. Son of a bitch! You know what? I have an idea. I think if I start all the way over... Now, I climb. I just need some smooth getting over it type jazz to really lean me into the process. I'm so worried about the time. It's got to be under X amount of hours this fast. I never stop to think if it is the time for me to succeed, you know? Back to bricks. Some would think I'm an idiot for resetting. I don't. Because I know that these Fodian games aren't about getting to the end. It's about how quickly you can do every step of the puzzle. The lack of checkpoints just means you need to be a master of the craft at every single stage of the game. Other games you squeak through. Mario, you get the star, but you don't even know how you did it. You just gotta get the path down, the rhythm. Sections that were so hard for me before, I just cruise through. And I can go from zero to 50% without really breaking a sweat. So when I fall, I don't feel bad. I don't feel sad, I don't feel stressed, I don't feel frustrated. I feel happy. I'm doing the greatest thing that we can do on Earth. I'm learning. That took me less than three minutes. I went from zero to 90% in less than three minutes. Because I am a master at the first 90%. And although 
all signs point to me failing in the next 10% because I haven't gotten past 95 before. I don't know what I am about to see. I will learn. I will fail. And I will try again. And if it's 2 minutes and 43 seconds out of my life to get back to try again, so be it. I'll give up that 2 minutes and 43 seconds a hundred times if I have to. Because eventually, whether it's today, tomorrow, or sometime in the future, I will win. But if I do win, I want to win with some style. Okay, I don't know what my notes were to take away from that session. I would generally say, fuck my life. Uh, this game's a piece of shit. I fucking hate it. Um, kill me where I stand. God smite me. I don't want to live another day. Um, outside of that, not too many notes. I don't know. Did anyone else have anything? I know I'm not the only one writing things down. You know what? Maybe what I needed to win was a bit of jazz. Come on! Give me it! Give me it! Nice. Son of a bitch! Two minutes and 43 seconds. Never forget. Never forget what you did. Never forget where you came from. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're gonna start crushing now. We're gonna start crushing now. We're gonna start crushing now, aren't we? 
Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. We're gonna start cooking now. Let me cook. Let me cook. It's fine. Yes. Yeah, we're picking up now. We're picking up now. Picking up now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we're picking up now. Yes. Fuck. Make it back to the tree, though. We're fine. Clutch it. Clutch it. Yes. Good clutch. Nice save. Nice. Nice save. Yes. That might be too far right. Mm. Nice. Oh my god, that was so scary. No, I missed. Time's running out. But my movement is not holy shit.
What? What? What did I hit? What did I hit? Two minutes! Two minutes and 43 seconds! You did it! Do it again! I think I can do it, man. Some people are meant to fail. I'm lucky in other ways, you know? You know how many people try to become a YouTuber and fail? I might just not be cut out for this game. comments that are scrolling by. What do they say? Ludwig would have beat it. Give up. Your shit. Back to bricks. You hear something enough, one day it becomes true.
Okay. Again, better. It's not a big thing. I don't know how I fucked this up so tremendously, but here we are. I, I gotta stop pausing there, though, because it's making it a big thing in my head, and I keep choking it. I just gotta keep go, 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 go. Go! 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 All gas. Zero breaks. hole I slipped in. Here's the situation, gentlemen. We have exactly 20 minutes. I either beat the game in 20 minutes, and we are fucking heroes, and you were here for it. Or I failed. Those are the only two options we have. What's in 20? I got a dip. I got a dip set. I got Halloween festivities. So I gotta get it done now. I just gotta focus. Yeah, 
Hit the Luddy when you win? Bro, I win, I hit the Luddy three fucking minutes straight. Well, maybe not that long. But... Why, why can't I beat this section? So we can get there. Actually, the perfect distance. Only 4.7% left. Too far right. Unless... I don't know how I'm doing it. Greedy. Restart. What is that? What is that? Clutch it. Clutch it.
Clutch it. Fuck me. Oh, no boost. You're cringe. It's fine. I feel really good about the 80 to 95% section. So I think as long as I can get back, I can get it done. Maybe in my, in my next, I would say my next six trips back there, I, uh, one of them will be a dub. Depending what's left. I don't really know what's left after that. But if I get to 80%, one of my next six times, it'll be a dub. What did you fucking fall on? Sick. I was sleeping. I just woke up. You're still doing this? Exactly. You are fucking pathetic. While you were sleeping, I was mastering the craft. I will be one of the greatest in the world, and you'll have what? A couple of extra hours on your eyes? Congratulations.
fuck. not looking good today boys but I'm pretty happy that we made new progress overall and in the limited amount of time we played had some shots at winning
not looking good, boys. Looks like we'll try and beat it tomorrow. Unfortunately, just running up on a bit of a deadline here and don't want to be late. But so happy we made some progress. guys are incredibly negative right now which maybe it's just because the confines of an anonymous chat where you feel comfortable saying something mean and it feels good occasionally to which do your thing but if you're as insufferable here as you are in the real world you got a problem on your hands I only have to deal with you in a paid aspect for a few hours a day the people in your life have to hang out with you as long as you exist. So why not be someone that people want to hang out with? Food for thought. Not calling out anyone specifically, but if you think it applies to you, then why are you thinking that? Is there a reason it should apply to you? There's a lot of people who after I said that didn't think of themselves at all. Why are you not one of them? Something to think about. Again, I'm paid to be here. It's my job to deal with you. And maybe you're not like this normally. But maybe you are. Close, but I'll try next time. All right, thank you all for watching, boys. Fun little four-hour stream. I'll see you guys all maybe tomorrow, I think, to beat this game. That's my goal. Uh, until then, I hope you guys have a good rest of your night. And I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. See you later, guys. Hope you have a good Halloween weekend. Goodbye.